Testing, testing. Slave tards. <laughs> I guess the sound works. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta join the ranks of Raw Dog and follow the model for my uh, one gram cards. Yeah, I've been a little slow on the phone lately, firing not yet. I got a quarter set on the way, but then next weekend I got the uh, local uh, phone show again. So awesome, nice pickups. What's up, Frank? Yo! Is that a sound effect when you came on there? What? It was like, like a... I think PD is giving some feedback. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. My Those husband's doing people. something. Let me, let me put my mic on. I forgot it went. Hey, let me let me see that freaking uh, Howlin' uh, Wolf half kilo coin again. Uh, already, uh, let me go dig it up. Yes, dig it up. I want to see that shit again. I want that coin. <laughs> Reading PD on the side there. Drama free hangout. There's no drama here, man. No. Silver Siren, I've seen your banter back and forth with the people over at the Silver Stacker Forum over those Mickey Mouse coins. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I did, because I did a Google search just to see who was talking about them. And I got I ended up over there on that forum and then I seen you in there going at it. Which one was that? The Mob Deep? The no, Mob no, Deep? the Silver Stacker forum on the internet. Uh What, you like the Mickey Mouse coins now? Flip flop. Flip flop. <laughs> Sirens like <laughs> you're messing with her head. 
You know what? If I if I can sell them for 150 bucks each, I'll be happy. Big Al, 24k. What's up, Frank? Yo. What's good, man? What What's good in the land of sun and fun? Nothing. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Hell yeah. Sold out. Yep, Silver Siren still hating on him. M I C Sold out ish? No, it's uh, sold out. They're sold Watch, out I'm gonna sell men, no, Frank, Frank. Sold, what? Watch. We're gonna sell we're gonna in about five years or six years time when Silver Siren's got a four year old or five year old, we're gonna be able to sell that Mickey Mouse corner for about four hundred dollars for his birthday. Millions. <laughs> Check New Zealand mint suckers. No, it's still Mickey Mouse. Who's pregnant? Where where that come from? I'm not pregnant. I, yeah, I last just time have I checked, I'm not able to conceive. It, it just it just started growing after I reached 35. Yeah, yeah, you, you got a you got a gut, right? <laughs> About five months now. <laughs> oh, Silver Siren is already. Pre oh, Mickey Mouse is gonna be for sale. Uh oh. <laughs> Silver Sirens expecting. Yeah. You heard it here first. Oh, breaking news. Where's the news unit? Oh, <laughs> she thought I was. She says I thought I was. Uh, Why? You were trying? Just for the Mickey Mouse coin. I got. Hold on, what? Yeah, my first one I had, I wasn't trying. Don't ask that. What do you mean? Don't ask that. What the hell does it matter? <laughs> I have to say that Dude, totally cracked me up. <laughs> everybody's first, like my first, my, <laughs> my wife. The first time my wife got pregnant, she didn't even know about it until the third month. We actually went into the doctor to get birth control pills, and the doctor was like, you're pregnant. You should have seen the look on my wife's face. Dude, you should have seen the look on my wife's face. I wish I had a camera right then and there just to be like, Ch -ch -ch. Yeah. I'm she's expecting. Probably ready, she's probably ready to cut your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what she wanted to do, exactly. <laughs> PD's expecting. Yeah, a grandchild. Congratulations. Oh, a grandchild. Yeah. My oh, first. that's even better. Yo, that I Mickey know. Mouse girl just went up to 800. She's grandma. Yes, it did, yep. I'm going to have a uh, grandson. Mm -hmm. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. I only have one child, so I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh, so, Silver Siren, you got kids already now or no? You're married, aren't you? You're married. Yeah, she's, she's a young woman. She's only like 20. All right. you know, she 20, keeps 30. saying New Zealand Mint, so I'm going into the New Zealand Mint. Yeah, they, they are zones. available. They are available over there. All right, that's fine. But they've got 100 left? Yeah, probably. I mean, it can't be many. These are. This is going to be hotter than the baseball coin. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's gonna, <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome. It's going to be it's gonna be a fight in here now. I'm telling you, what? Two men in a short answer, period of time. One man leaves. Uh, yeah, you're still pretty young, ain't you? Aren't you? Oh, they can't you're compare. Like of course they can't compare because there's more Mickey Mouse fans than there are um, baseball fans around the world. Of course they can't compare, and there's less of the Mickey. Uh, the Mickey. Of course they can't compare. Dude, Mickey Mouse is going to be hot, Silver. Only 10,000. Fan count is not relevant. Come on, Silver Siren, come on. When you've got millions and oh, billions of people chasing after something, and then you've got a few people. I've never seen I've never seen Japanese kids dress up as baseball players, but I've seen them dress up as Mickey. I've never seen someone put – well, I mean, there's a couple of crazy people that get drunk and put a baseball player on his arm or something, but I've seen a lot of Mickey Mouse tattoos. Tell her, Frank, I'm about to go get a Mickey Mouse tattoo myself. Yes. Yeah, they play I'm baseball very well. Right uh, <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh oh. 
Sirens asserted her bossness. 24K, man. She just told you to shut your hole and know your role. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I'm about to get a Mickey Mouse tattoo right on my ass. I mean, I, I love it that much. I don't think he realizes he's muted. <laughs> yeah, who muted me? Fucking cheated. I just realized I was muted. What the hell? <laughs> All right, Silver Sun. Uh, <laughs> I just realized that, but yeah. She just put a I'm bar of saying, soap in your mouth. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. You but know, she time mobbed, will tell. Team Bob Deep Brain to chat today. Oh, there's oh, there's that fucking wolf coin, dude. Yeah, that thing is the shit. Yeah, that's beautiful coin. That, that is ounce. fucking the shit, man. We're that's a half kilo. Yeah, it's a lot of money, though. Yeah. We were just but talking about that what, last Frank, night. You know what, Frank? In a couple, in, in maybe a year or two, you'll be able to trade that Mickey Mouse coin for that for that half kilo coin right there. I'll, that I don't know about that, but I'm a, telling a, you, it'll be a good chunk, though. Dude, can you imagine the grandparent that wants to give his child, a, you know, a gift like PD Ballerina in four years down the line? And she wants yeah. to teach them about precious metals while they're still young and impressionable. You can't do it without Mickey. I do it with Zombux. <laughs> <laughs> that you give to your daughter when she turns 18 or her boyfriend that comes and picks her up. <laughs> Hand him a Zombuff and be like, this is what's going to happen to you if you come back without my daughter. Right. Man, I was watching. See, uh, PD, uh, PD already has a collection going for her grandchild, and all she's missing is the Mickey Mouse coin. That's it. Yep, you just need that Mickey Mouse to, to set. Donald Duck coming up next. <laughs> Get your Donald Duck the, coins. I hope it's what's it called next. I think that they'd be smart to do. Do a mini, uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh, but I think they're gonna go with Minnie next. But I think they'd be smart to do a Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, well, Winnie the Pooh isn't Disney. Yeah, it is. It is. Of course it is, dude. I loved yeah. Winnie. Winnie, my, Winnie the Pooh was my favorite Disney character. Yeah, they already t said what the series is gonna be. It's gonna be Donald Duck, Pluto. Um, no, Donald Duck, Pluto, Snow White, Snoopy. Cinderella, and I think. Um, 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 what's Pocahontas? Yes. What? No, no, I lied, Dean. What? We're, we're not gonna get any of the other cartoons. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. No, no Jasmine. No. Nope. Aladdin. Uh, Donald. It'll be Donald Duck. Pluto. They're not gonna do. They're not gonna do an Aladdin coin. Racist. Yeah, Donald please. Duck. And Pluto. <laughs> Snow White. Aladdin looks like Tom Cruise. Everyone else looks like they're they're Middle Eastern. <laughs> they, they actually should do a Jasmine. They actually made a point on that on some show that they kind of, you know like Aladdin from the Disney cartoon kind of looked like Tom Cruise. While all the bad guys look like uh, you know terrorists. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. yeah we're, not gonna, we're not going to get any tourist coins? That's not nice. I since Disney owns uh, Marvel, oh, they, does, 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 coins. Does, does Disney own the, the panda one, Chinese panda? They should do Chinese panda. Yeah, they could, like Disney could do X-Men coins, uh, Spider-Man coins. Uh. That's not Disney. Yeah, they own Marvel. Yeah, I guess. But I was hoping they'd stick to like you know the the old classic Disney scenes: Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Bambi. Hell yeah! I got four silver ones, man. Our All boy, I'm saying our is, boy, twenty-four K over here bought fifteen. How many you you've got you've got how many uh, you've got kids in the neighborhood, don't you, Frank? Huh? Frank, you got kids in the neighborhood that are the same age as your kids, right? 
Yeah, I think so. They just give the, give one of your kids the coin and let them go outside and start teasing the kids. Yeah. And those parents will come up to you and be like, "Hey, Frank, can I get one of them Mickey Mouse coins?" Yeah, it's like four hundred dollars, like, selling, like selling crack. Yeah, watch, dude. What would you rather have? A kid nagging you for three days about some Mickey Mouse coin that you can't get them, and do it like right before Christmas, you know? Play it smart. <laughs> Uh, you can send your kid out with a Mickey Mouse coin to show other kids. A couple of those kids are going to get together and mug them and take it. <laughs> That's even better. Now you can charge them criminally and get like five, 6000 for that coin. Yeah, then you can extort them. <laughs> you hear this? Silver Siren says when Mob Deep comes in, everyone don't say nothing. All right. Just sit here dead silent. Dude, he's been up for like 24 hours drinking. Has he really? I think so. I've gone to sleep and woken up twice and been on a hangout with him. Well, what does I don't know? He's watching. You ruined it, Frank. Yeah. You ruined it. Ruined it. <laughs> he's probably not even listening. I see him on the uh, text chat on the. Uh... On the uh, YouTube page. Yeah, we were talking about that wolf coin right there last night. He's like, I can't believe anybody would buy that, man. Shit, I'd buy it. Well, how much was it? It's a the... lot. It's like 900 bucks. Yeah, Silvertown still has some for eight seventy. Yeah, it's like three times or almost it's like two and a half wow. times spot. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. A moment of, a moment of silence, please. A moment of silence, please. <laughs> I pledge allegiance. <laughs> Are you gonna freaking go to bat at all or what? Oh man, I slept, man. Fucking, I fell asleep in the last hangout. I, well, I fell asleep. At, I, I fell asleep at like like two o'clock at three o'clock at night, and I woke up at like fucking eight o'clock, and I see my hangout still going. <laughs> fucking. Uh, so so you so you're like you taking notes from your boy Ernie. Well, take notes. Yeah, your boy Ernie fell asleep in fucking news units chat the other day. Yeah, that was oh, funny. yeah, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the that's the the picture. You know, the two, the two of you kiss and make up, and now you're acting <laughs> awfully similar. Maybe you are Ernie. Uh, yeah, I'm Ernie, man. I'm I'm Ernie, son. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, but like, yeah, I kind of like what he's doing now. I guess he's kind of more being. Like he's actually talking about something instead of just just fucking chatting about nothing. That is a pretty cool coin, that polar bear one. Wait, hold on, stop showing coins without telling us. We can turn this stuff on. He, well, he did. He told you. Oh, uh, did he? Where? Uh, uh, Mickey Mouse coins are gonna flap. <laughs> yeah, what are you? Well, I got a solid Mickey Mouse coin. What do you want to buy it for? Five hundred dollars. Spot price. I'll give. I'm gonna get it first. Dude, Holy you were shot. just begging me the other day for one for two fifty. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. One million dollars. Uh, just like all the other fucking wait, wait, coins. Wait and see, fuck. dude. I won't. We won't wait and see. Just like how the baseball coins went down. No, they didn't. They went up. It didn't go up. What do you mean? Yes, they did. It went down back to near. No. Oh my God. This fucking shit with him. <laughs> no, they didn't. The fucking maybe maybe the slab. Oh trade my God, that. dude. Eight hundred bucks right now. I just straightened that out for you last night. I'm like, you maybe the slab ones went down a little bit, but the the regular unslabbed coins direct from the mint haven't gone down. They've gone up. They gone up. 
and then they went down. But uh, they're up. What went down? What went down? What is this guy talking out of his boom? boom? Dude, the, only, the only thing you going down is Bentley their driver. credibility. You know, okay, well, until like a few days ago, they're trading at about $1,000, right? The gold one. Right? Not slap. Yeah, go ahead. Now it's trading at about 800 bucks. Where? Show on me eBay. where it's trading at $800. On eBay. Go look at the finish, finish uh, auctions. I like I told you, as people get, there's more supply in the market. It's just supply and demand, man. Just because nobody, not too many people had it yet, the price is inflated artificially. Now that some of the ones are getting delivered, the uh, price is going down. Eventually, it'll be issued. Oh, no. no, 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 no. That's not the reason why the price went the price. down. The price went down when Mickey Mouse coin came out. That's when the price <laughs> went down. Yeah. Let's I'm just get it right. Wow. Boom. I never buy yeah, tell coins. Him. I never buy it. You're now, never gonna buy what? The Mickey Mouse coins? The only the only premium coin I'm thinking of getting is the Batman. <laughs> See? See, that's just because you're a bat you know, you're at the age of Batman right now. Oh yeah, age he's of still Batman. Wearing, he's still wearing the Batman underwear. Oh yeah. yeah you still got those tidy whiteies, don't you, <laughs> with the Batman the dude, in the he's middle. Got the, he's got the fucking Batman pull ups twenty four K. Right on, man. What, he, what, he's on, what he's on the hangouts, that's yeah. what he does. He puts his Batman pull-ups on so he doesn't have to get up. He just pisses at him. Right on. <laughs> uh, they got, yeah, he's got one of those adult adult pull-ups. Why is everyone taking out their cameras? Yeah, I, I guess it's time to take out the cameras. I don't know. I guess we're all lining up to take... Is Mickey Mouse coming? Holy fuck. Fucking stop! <laughs> Jesus. I asked you, what do you want to buy it for? You didn't. Big fat stacker. See? I asked you. Oh, right. I can't already... talk. My daughter. My daughter's screaming here. You guys are gonna hear her scream. His daughter. His daughter is meek is screaming at him. Mickey, Mickey, Papa, yeah. Mickey, please, I want Mickey. No, I was gonna buy the gold one. Oh, I was gonna buy the gold one, but. Uh, it's too expensive to buy like every fucking gold one in the series. Yeah, but that's you're gonna buy the gold one for the wifey, not the kid. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are fucking right? ridiculous with this shit. Who's taking pictures over here? Fucking mob deep. Start autographing. Hey, I'm the feds. You guys are killing me with this shit. I'm a police officer. Dude, I'm gonna laugh my butt off when Mob gets a, a job with with Disney. <laughs> <laughs> and he has to dress up as Mickey on a daily basis. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a child molester. You're yeah. gonna be a mascot. How much is the Mickey silver coin going for? It's uh right now we're selling them at four hundred. If you get in quick. <laughs> yeah, get in quick. Yeah, you gotta get in quick now because they're gonna mm -hmm. sell out quick and, and people might start coloring them and selling them at eight hundred and a thousand. <laughs> Forty-four uh, K, quit pumping up your own products. What do you uh, mean? I'm not pumping. God. I'm not pumping it up anything. I only got fifteen. The only thing you pump is your is your penis. <laughs> if I had, if I, had if, I was, if I was pumping it up, I'd be selling them at a thousand. Pumping tacos. <laughs> ass, ass clown silver pumper. Yeah, babe. You should give it to your family for what you got it for. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna. I'm about to trade a couple of Mickey's for that wolf coin right there. That is a nice coin, man. Yeah, that's a beautiful half. That's you know, that's a first. I don't think there's. I'm not sure, but I don't, I've never seen any other half kilo coin. Yeah, that's the first for the Canadian mint. That uh, I mean, the detail on that thing's killer. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my gold one. It's coming. It's been coming for like a couple of months now. Oh, you're being you're being addressed, 24k. What do, what am I have? What do I accept? Yeah. Accept the 24k. What else is catching your eye? Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> <God. laughs> I'm looking down the tunnel and I see Mickey Mouse at the end. Batman going. Cool. That's how my Mickey, that's my Mickey is not boring, guys. Mickey is Mickey. Every single one of us here grew up watching Mickey Mouse at one point in his life. 
I actually do like the design, but I would not pay that much. I'm gonna find it for cheaper. They've got they've got a Disney World in but Paris. Exactly you've got a Disney World in Japan. You've got a Disney World in Hong Kong. You've got one opening up in Shanghai. You've got one coming to Doha. Before this is all over, we're gonna have Disney in every little country, and where I'm gonna be the only Doha? one with the Mickey Mouse coin. Where is Doha? Where is who? What what is Doha? Do oh, that's just like right above Montreal. Hey, what are you doing? No, no, for real. It's in Quebec. Oh, for real, man. <laughs> Tabarnak. It's the capital of Qatar. A serious question. It's the capital of Qatar where they're going to hold the World Cup. Okay. I don't even know who Doctor Who is, but yeah, I do have a collection started. It was by accident. <laughs> you don't even know who he is. <laughs> I swear to you, I've never watched Doctor Who. He's, I don't know who he is. He's literally Doctor Who. Lie to you? He's, he's like literally Doctor Who? <laughs> yeah, Doctor Who? <laughs> I've never once in my life even seen one program for Doctor Who, or one show, or one episode, or even a commercial. I remember when it was a cheesy PBS program back in the 70s and 80s. Not yep. that I watched it. That's really. what I remember. Dr. Who's the guy in the, in the phone. You, you, you guys are old. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you I'll tell you what would be nice. If they did a Sesame Street, woo, Big Bird is mine. Kermit the Food. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, Kermit wouldn't be that, but dude, could you imagine if they did a Sesame Street one? Cookie Monster and stuff, that'd be amazing. Yeah, Silver Siren, no, they made too many of those baseball coins. 50,000 is a lot. It's not minted. If, you know, if they had stopped it at 10,000, then you might have an argument. <laughs> and also, the other nice thing about it is, Frank Teller, we're going to get our Mickey Mouse coins probably like two years before you get your baseball coins. Ah. <laughs> uh. With free shipping. Booyah. So, so who's going to sell me a Mickey Mouse coin? What do you, you want? Know, for 250? <laughs> Just go on eBay. Yeah, yeah, but I don't get my money till Sunday. Well, you still, you can still... Oh, on, Sunday, on Sunday, it'll be about... We'll, we'll be selling them at about 450, 475. <laughs> Depending on where Silver is spot at. <laughs> Probably be 18. <laughs> hey, 24K, when I buy one of those coins for under what you paid, I'll laugh at you. All right. <laughs> when you do it, I'll, I, I, yo, just tell me because I'll be buying them too. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, dude. I, I, know how, I know how I can tease little kids into getting their parents to pay me three to $400 for them. Yeah, because you're fried. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, I've been watching your hangouts. Uh, you've been watching my hangouts. You've been learning from the I've been my, hanging my out deep. with all the best scammers on on YouTube. Yeah, you've been learning. Twenty four K. Mob Deep's gonna be crying in a month when he doesn't have his Batman coin. Yep. I'm probably gonna get it, man. You know, Mickey can whoop the butt out of Batman, right? Oh yeah. How many of those Batman coins are they doing? They're doing. I forget. I think it's like two thousand. Oh, you ain't getting one. No, you're you're screwed, bro. Yeah, they're not doing two thousand. No. No, usually There's no uh, way. Canadian mint products are really limited. We're like one. you ain't you ain't getting one. I'll get one. Are they gonna do them in gold? Yeah, gold and silver. But the gold one is probably gonna be two thousand. The silver one's probably gonna be like five thousand. But they're doing but the five, gold. They're doing five different silver ones or something. The like gold. Five or six the or gold. Something. The gold one's going to be what, 24 carat or 22 carat? 18K. 18? Yeah. Oh, forget Dude, it. I can't buy no 18K and sell it to the Chinese. They'll look at me like I'm trying to scam them. <laughs> well, wow. it's, it's marketed towards uh, uh, people over here. Yeah, dude, that, that wouldn't sell over here. I'd have to, like, add a couple more Ks on from my own. <laughs> <laughs> Get it remelted and shit. But the Mickey coin, that's going to be 24K. Oh man, the bat is gonna do well. It's not even a Mickey coin. Let's just let's just let's just say the name right. It's Steamboat oh, Willie. <laughs> yeah, he was the father of Mickey. <laughs> yep. Steamboat Willie. Yo, apparently the 500 gram wolf is being sold for cheaper at Silvertown. Yeah. yeah. 
eight seventy there. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's, <laughs> that's gonna be the Mickey Mouse coin. <laughs> I was thinking of buying it, but he might scare Mickey. Yeah. I can't wait to get my Mickey Mouse coin. It's it's actually, be, it should I be coming I, on my birthday. Hey, hey, 24K, I think you're right. I bet you I get those freaking Mickey Mouse coins before I even get my baseball coins. I'll bet you money on it. My baseball coins are supposed to ship out this week, and they never did. Yeah, yeah I'll bet you money you'll get your, what do you call it, coins from, you'll get your Mickey coins before your baseball coins. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's that's the beauty of the U.S. Mint. They got, <laughs> yeah, they got their head up their ass. Yeah, you know, when you pay for shipping, you, they actually, you know, they they want to make sure that the guy takes it and walks it to your house. Yeah, U.S. Mint's been notorious for slow shipping for decades. I wouldn't, I didn't, I didn't bother ordering the baseball coins and was willing to pay them just so I wouldn't have to deal with them. That's how much of a hassle they are. Yeah, good thing NAPC's out in the room right now. He would go into his rant about getting his uh, silver set. Poor guy. Uh, yeah. By the way, if anyone wants the gold um, baseball coins or more of the silver coins, they're selling them at the Sri Lankan Mint. <laughs> <laughs> the Sri Lankan Mint. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Calcutta Mint. Yeah, the cock kind of mint. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure perfect. the Shanghai mint's gonna be kicking them out pretty soon too. Yeah, per perfect replicas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that really is a beautiful half kilo coin. Yeah, that is wild, man. Yeah. That's just that, a really that's, an, that's coin. just an awesome fucking item you can put on your coffee table. Yep. That's even better than the five ounce coin I got. But I'm liking these new boxes. If you notice, the Mickey coin comes in a box that's also made to be put on a table. Yeah, folds up. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, just imagine your first grader just came home and got straight A's. You need to get him something. <laughs> what? 24K theories. Mickey, Mickey, Mouse, Mickey Mouse coins aren't just for birthdays. They're for birthdays, Christmases, Easters, graduations, bar mitzvahs. The Big L theory. Circumcisions, whatever you're doing, you know. Circumcisions. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. What, Mickey was circumcised, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, man, here we go with that shit again. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Goofy coin's going to be nice. The Big L theory. Is it is it false or is it correct? I just hope they don't come out with like colored ones, colored coins. No, oh, no, God no. Because if you notice that silver, the silver one looks amazing. It looks like you know, it's, it looks just like the black and white. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I was thinking of letting one of them stay outside, you know, get a little tarnish going maybe on the Mickey, get them going a little more blackish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Silver and Siren's already coming around. She wants the princess. We might as well get the whole series, Silver <laughs> Siren, you know? Yeah. Don't just go out and get one coin, you know, and ruin it for everybody else. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants the gold coins, tell me, because I think I might be able to get them for maybe 30 to $40 more expensive from uh, a local dealer in Dubai. Plus the, I've got, plus the big I've got Al markup. markup. Oh, there's no markup. Well, markup is only if I buy it myself if you don't come in on it and tell me ahead of time. But uh, Marcus, I asked Marcus to look for them because I know that maybe one or two dealers in Dubai will be getting some. So you usually do. That's how I got my Zeus coins. Now I want the silver one. Uh, silver is now at 430. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you know spot price is going to reach 1,000 within five years, right? Mm -hmm. It's a bargain, dude. It's a bargain. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Frank, how much do you want? <clears throat> huh? So, how much do you want for a Mickey coin? Oh, God, I don't know, dude. Ah, oh, I... shook it, shook it. Here oh, they no, come. Man. I don't even have it in my hand yet. I'll, wait, give you wait. I'll give you 115 for it. That's 20 bucks over. Oh, 20 yeah, bucks? No, I got no. 20 bucks? Oh, we can no. sell it for more of the neighborhood kids. They're on, they're on eBay for like almost 200, 150. 
One fi- one fifteen. I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy it. Dude, for one fifteen, I'll buy some too with you. I know. Buy it, then. Look, uh, look, I put the link right there. More than ten. Oh, dude, this guy, this guy doesn't even have it yet, and he's already more than ten available. Really. That means he's got like fifty, like a hundred. He can't because they haven't even been delivered yet. They don't get shipped until May 9th. This guy's a liar. He's scamming you, dude. You're paying $115 for nothing. Pay us 200 you can get a real coin. <laughs> dude, that's like paper silver coin right there. You know, that's like stock market coin. You're going to you're going to be sent a picture. Wow, they sold 37 of those Mickey Mouse coins. Yep. Yeah, There's another one going for 130. Most expensive one is 160. Yeah, no. Well, if somebody else got it listed for 200. <coughs> the big Al theory has been crushed. No, definitely not. <laughs> the big band hasn't even started yet. Just wait. Don't forget. Now we're going into the summertime. You know, people don't want to spend their money. They want to go on vacations. Wait until they get back into schools. Yeah, you know when all the kids when all the kids want all the Mickey Mouse stuff. I want a Mickey Mouse bag and a Mickey Mouse camera and a Mickey Mouse lunchbox. <laughs> and then you pop in with a Mickey Mouse silver coin like papow paperweight. <laughs> you gotta hang out in front of uh, Disneyland, uh, selling them like a circus parker. Oh, dude, you'd, you'd make a killing hand trying to sell those at like a parking lot at Disney World. You'd make a killing. Just to target all the kids that come out with no big teddy bears and stuff. You know, their parents didn't win shit. And they're all crying like, oh, I didn't get anything. Here's a $500 Mickey Mouse coin. Boom. Boom, slap in the face. <laughs> oh, Frank, by the way, you know what else I was thinking of doing with those Mickeys is uh, two of them I was thinking of making, uh, putting them in a bezel. And wearing it as a pendant. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Put it up as a pendant. What? <laughs> but, Flavor of flame. Go. go to work with a big, with a Mickey Mouse pendant on your neck. <laughs> Dude, that would look... Dude, trust me. Trust, I, I know some adults that would be wearing that. Come on, Frank. Yeah. You Where know that guy wants to pimp it at the where, club. Where is uh, Cufflinks? Uh, Cufflinks should be huge, too dude. Big to be. Oh, but a, a, no, 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 no. But a cowboy belt bucker? <laughs> with, with uh-huh. <laughs> Just or put like a like big belt buckle of like, Mickey on it, dude. Or if you're like an old lady, you could like wear it as a brooch. Yeah, but that'd be too heavy. I think you know it would it'd make it crumble up your shirt and stuff. Uh, see, like uh, Madeline Albright flashing one off. Dude, like Silver old- Siren, come on. You know they're the hottest coins of the year, dude. I think they're gonna be hotter than Zeus. No, the only hot coin is going to be the Batman, I guarantee you. No. The only hot coin is Mickey Mouse. Everybody loves <laughs> Mickey Mouse, dude. That's why it's selling for 115 Girls don't like Batman. <laughs> Girls love Mickey. Dude, Mickey crosses all borders, genders, sexes, even those homo California pain and innocence. They, <laughs> they love Mickey. He got a that big was- head like them. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Silver Sirens telling us about our high school infatuations with Superman and Batman. If they were more, if, if yo, if Silver Siren, if they weren't 18 karat gold, I'll jump all over those. But I can't buy 18 karat gold for here. That it'll be only for my own collection, and that'd be too much. Well, if you have a lot of fucking like, if you have a lot of fucking karat gold, it doesn't matter. You can melt it anytime you want. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to buy an 18 karat Superman coin so I can melt it, fool. I'm just saying, worst case scenario. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't be something that I'd be able to. Inter- you know that. It doesn't matter. Uh-huh. K. Like people are gonna like. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't well, matter. No, to you it doesn't matter. To me, cause what if something happens to me and my wife takes all my gold to try to get rid of it, and then someone finds that 18 carat? They're gonna think that all my gold is 18. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Yeah, it'll stop the whole sale. But if he sees Mickey, <laughs> he knows he's getting something special. 
Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> even, yo, Frank, did you notice they even have that Disney? They've got that Disney logo on the coin. Yeah. Because that that logo usually adds, you know, another like thirty to forty dollars right there. Oh yeah, for sure. Boom. <laughs> What in the world are we playing? Cosplay. What is that? Twin Lake, 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 Lake. Like they dress up as like a cartoon character or something like that. Hey, I've seen a lot of Mickey cosplays then. <laughs> Mickey must a, be the king. Mickey must be the king of cosplay. That's being a Furby, not a cosplay. Ah. Oh yeah, that cosplay is for anime, right? Yeah, the superheroes are anime. Yeah, Kurt, yeah, something like that, yeah. I don't know. Like the Japanese stuff? Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, well, like video game characters like Borderlands. See. There's lots of people, like, <laughs> there's lots of people that do, <laughs> that are like, yeah, into that kind of shit. More than probably the fucking, uh, what do you call it, the Disney thing. Willie. I'd like to see more of uh, 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 Silver Stacker YouTube channel products. So far, we got a Raw Dog card. We got a Saladin Metal card. We're going to have a 24K coin. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking of, uh, of, of making a copper round. Of Mickey? And plating it with silver and gold. And putting Mickey Mouse on it? No, dude, I would never put, I'd put, what's it called? i put Cinderbad on it. Cinder what? See? I was actually thinking about uh, grabbing some of those copper walkers and plating them in gold. <laughs> I'll tell you something that they do here. I've seen it done, and I just started laughing. Basically, a guy walked in, bought a kilo of gold, and asked them to um, put silver on the outside of it. Hey, what's the cheapest way to plate? And basically, he wanted that. The reason why he wanted that is because they charge him like 10 to 12 percent taxes on gold when he goes back to his home country and he was trying to pass it off as silver. And I thought that was yeah. funny. Yeah, that's why it says 999 gold. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that. I mean, I was telling the guy, I was like, why don't you just put it in rhodium and turn it into white gold, you know, because that's what you do. You just you can clear it. And the guy was like, no, 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 it must be silver. It must be silver. Said, All right. Was he in the. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Put in his turban. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he already had like 15 kilos. <laughs> There's no the only the only thing that I think is might be a sleeper that we're not the only one is maybe that bald eagle. Just looks cool. I think the Falcons will do also. Maybe. Because there's no risk when you buy that. You buy you buy it for like the same price as a maple. You don't make no money. You know, fucking who cares if you bought a fucking. You no, know, think about it as you bought a maple leaf, but it has a potential to grow in value. Yeah, they look pretty nice in real life. Yeah. Oh, someone wants the 25th anniversary in the in thermals. My take on what? Uh, I'm not really a fan of the 25th Maples. Yeah, I got three of them. Should I put them in thermals? <laughs> I still got my thermals from Canada. Thermal underwear? Yep. I still got my three tubes unopened. You got three tubes of those? Yeah, I originally had four tubes. I opened wow. one, put about ten into uh, air tights, and then I used the rest of that two of those exchanges at the coin show last time. I think that's a good play. I definitely think those are a good play. What? I think anyone who ever collects maple leaves from now on will always want that 25th. I think the 25th that, anniversary man. maple leaf. It's not really a complicated design, but it's just elegant. Yeah, I like it. 
it was my it was I bought it and my it was the first coin that my son actually saved up money to buy. He saw mine and loved it and actually bought one. I saw it for a really good price the other day on one of the coin sites. It was like really cheap though. It was like twenty three fifty. I think it's because it's just trying to dump them. It's kind of crazy. And I usually see them in the higher twenties or low thirties. Hey, I got something to show. Ooh. I got something to show. Y'all want to see it? Yeah, That's please. please. <laughs> okay. All right. This is uh, my first numismatic purchase that I ever made, if I could get it under the camera. Holy shit, who's talking? What is and, it? And I can't really show that box. But anyway, it's... um. It's, was made in 2012 um, for the year of the Mayan, yeah. So it's um, it's uh, one of a thousand sets. And I'm just gonna show it to you guys. Mexico. Yeah, it's really hard to show, but I'm gonna try. So, I might want to cooperate with my camera. I'm not good at this. Where does the camera go? Anyway, it's um. It's 10 ounces of silver, and I got it for $500, which was really a good price. Because at the time, silver was like $35 an ounce. So let's see, see if I can show it. Camera, another uh, here, I'm in boss. Yep. Uh, it's so hard to show these things. I've tried to make a video of this, and I can't. It's just bullion, man. It is. <laughs> Napoleon, man. What's that, a, a, a rocky quip there? That looks like a common date. <laughs> now, that's what Mob always says. <laughs> that's what Ahmet says. Uh, hey, 24, what's a 08 uh, Melbourne? Wait, hold on. Let me just look, Let's look at these coins for a sec here. I want to look at these common dates that she's putting up. I've never seen them before, so. <laughs> I could only see what I was doing. Anyway, this is. That looks like a five ounce, or. It is. It's a five ounce coin. If I could only get a good view of it, it's so proof that I almost can't do anything with it. Yeah, it's not coming out clear. I mean, we can see that it's a pyramid. You can almost barely make out that it's a pyramid. It's super. Wait, I gotta learn to move backwards. It's super shiny. Yeah, there shiny. we go. That's coming in now. You can, it almost looks oh. in person. It looks engraved. Uh, who's the mint for those? Uh, Banco de Mexico. Nice. And then. What year are those from? 2012 year of the Mayan. It was a special right. set they made for year of the Mayan. Like I said, it, they made more than a thousand, but they only made a thousand sets. But I can't do the backwards thing. Anyway, it's hard to appreciate how nice they are. And but yeah, what's your theory on this coin? <laughs> Which coin? <laughs> I love this set. This is my favorite set of coins I have. It's hard to show it. So. Versus impossible. Anyway, I'll go faster because I can't get it to focus. I might post some pictures for you and then you can see it better, a little better. Anyway, that's an observatory. It's the Mayan ruins that are down in uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. It's called Chichen Itza. Gosh, I can get that backwards thing out. Now you guys see this. Anyway. Any of, that from Co any of that Cosm? What's that? Any of those uh, uh, buildings from Cosmo? No, it's all from Chichen Itza. Which is in, it is in the Yucatan Peninsula. Put this upside down. This is what. Anyway, 
I'll post a picture because you can I can capture it better in a pictures, but it's actually really beautiful in person. It looks like it's almost like it's hand engraved. Super shiny. How do you go about doing this set? Like yeah, I've got a I've got a gold coin that's kind of similar to that, a Mexican from '94. That's oh, yeah. that looks very much like it's engraved. Yeah, well, that's for, it's Mexican really men. beautiful. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you, Mexico. Get a better cam, Silver Siren. What are you talking? I've got the. All right, Silver Siren. Take a look. <coughs> hey, Silver Siren, you ready for a surprise? Okay. Oh. Let's Keep it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a surprise. Ooh, gold. I can't see it. How does that look? How does that look, Silver Siren? That's the Mexican coin I was telling you about, PD. There, that's nice. Let me let me click on it so I can see it bigger. Oh yeah. And this was, I so think, that's mentioned. The pre, five. That's the pre. That's the pre-Columbian set, right? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. It was in, yeah. Right. What year is that shown? It's the 1993. Hey, Big O, I got a question. Is there a local mint in your country that makes like uh, semi-numi coins? Yep. How come you never get anything from them? I do. I've already shown them. To, if you go look at my silver coins, I've got a whole Saudi proof collection. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I got yeah, He's not a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do those cost, 24K? What, that 20, that, uh, the, Saudi. the Saudi coins? Yeah. The smaller ones cost about... Twelve dollars, which they weigh about eleven grams or ten grams of pure silver, and then the big ones, the two ounces and the one ounces, can cost anywhere from eighty dollars up to one hundred and fifty to one dollars. Wow! Holy crap! There you go. I got a, I got a Saddam Hussein coin. Uh, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking take a hammer to it, bend the bitch in half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drive, drive a fucking nail through it. How did, how did that work, 24K? Did I give him a good answer? Thank you. <laughs> Hang like, it. Do, do Arabic people not do, not like uh, Saddam Hussein? I love that coin. Yeah, that's not, and fucking, this is not a restrike. That fucking 50 pesos is fucking awesome. It's a 1946, which was the last year right before they did the restrikes. Yeah. 37.5 grams of gold. Nice. Isn't it like one of the biggest gold coins? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you never found any more of those? I only have three. So wait, what's that? Old con is that constitutional or, I mean, um, colonial? Dude, what that's that? U.S. Mint, Philadelphia Mint. Holy fuck, from when? This was made when gold was illegal. This was oil payments to the Saudis in 1940s. No shit. Yep. Look at the back of it, dude. How much did you get them for? I got them for about 1666 American, and they're selling for about 3000 That's fucking crazy. They have them in a museum in Vienna. Wow. But, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, I only got three of those at Ramco's PD. Get more. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> you big dummy. Don't worry about pullbacks. This is one of my like favorite gold coins that I picked up. What the fuck is that? Hold on, let me see if I can get it to him. It's hard to see. It's got some face on it. It's a. It's from is Cameroon. It it's a. <laughs> it's from Cameroon for their tenth independence. But check out the back of it. It's cool as hell. Well, it's hard to make out, but it looks like it has a lot of detail. It looks like a tribal person on it. Yeah, it's a tribal person in the middle, and then it's got like different things on it. It's from Cameroon for their independence. 
Is that like a chain going? Like... What else? Uh, here's a here's like a two hundred year old coin. What is it? It's an Ottoman Kush. <laughs> That's not something you'd be smoking, Mob. <laughs> is it? Was that made for uh, Kush payments? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you, I can't make it up. Well, I guess the best camera I got, you know. And then what else we got? That's it. Everything else is my George and Edward sovereigns and my old gold coins. Uh, just to show you for comparisons, this is a one tenth ounce. You see that in my hand, the one tenth ounce? Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna put in comparison 50 grams right next to it. Is it those bars? Yeah. <laughs> Which would you rather have? Got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Silver Siren, I am. <laughs> yeah, I did get ripped off, but with what? The one tenth or the fifty grams? <laughs> I'm <just> choking. <laughs> Dude, it's pretty amazing how they're the same size. I just thought that was funny. So if you're trying to, if you need to get up and go, that's the kind of, you know, that's the coins that I'd have. You can swallow it and then uh, get it out later. <laughs> these are coins. These are coins that also were made by the U.S. Mint for the Saudis, and there's only about a hundred thousand of them. Huh? And how much are those? Uh, these go for about six hundred dollars, five to six hundred dollars. They they weigh the same as a sovereign. Hey, who are you calling a guinea, Silver Siren? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the guineas. And then on the other side of it, you've got, it says one guinea, and it's, it should have a palm trees. There it is. Let me just put it upright. Oh, is there palm trees in uh, in Dubai? Yeah, this was made for the Saudis, but yeah. Oh, okay. So this was made by the U.S. Mint. That's why, I, I, speaking of speaking of guineas, I, I was just, I was just, huh? That's a spicy meatball. Well, yes, yes. Yeah, I was just in the damn deli around the corner from my house, and there, and and there's this fucking Italian guy in there, and he's we're talking about he was buying cold cuts, and I I never had mortadella before. Yeah. And uh, so he's telling me what it was and this and that, and uh, so I'm like, all right, I'll get a sandwich with that shit on there. So I got some like cal calabrese style hot salami and some mortadella on the sandwich. And uh, then I'm like, well, should I get a little salt and pepper on the sandwich? And he's like, I don't know. He, so then he yells over the counter, hey, put some salt and pepper on it for the for the Irish guy or for the Irish kid or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking breaking balls. Hey, that's what the Italians love to do, eh? Hey, what, yeah. what coin is that? That's a Napoleon. It's a common date. <laughs> Yeah, it is 20 francs. Yeah, like, what, what do you call an Italian with idle hands? There ain't no such thing. <laughs> uh, uh, now we're going with that, huh? <laughs> what is that? It's a 20 franc from 18-something. Oh, it looks like the Canadian. It's a common date. It's like I, I always tell my buddy who's Italian, I tell him, I said to him, I go, you know why Italy's shaped like a boot, right? Because they can't fit all that shit in a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that one before? Nah. You know, speaking of Italian culture, there's another idea for coins. The good fellow edition of coin. <laughs> I would get the Joe Pesci coin in a heartbeat. Oh yeah. Or the, like the Ray, Ray Liotta coin. Billy Bats. Oh, is that a Duquette? Yep. 
I hate those two kids. <laughs> I, I sold all my Ducats a long time ago. Ducats, huh? Yeah, they're, they're just awkward. There you go. Break it, over, break it out of the slab. <laughs> I was thinking about doing that and selling it to you. Uh... What? I'll throw this in if you buy a Mickey from me for 2000 I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm going to pass on that bargain. Spot price, silver sign. Spot price. Oh God, here we go. Oh, ask him. Ask, ask 24k. 24k. What would they pay you for a slapped coin in uh, Dubai? Spot price. So you told you. <laughs> I haven't tried, but I'm gonna try it. I got actually, I got those Silvertown, the 99 dollar ones for the sovereigns. I'm gonna go try. I haven't tried, but I think it will be spot price. That's like it was FT was talking about those freaking buying those PF uh, PF seventy Eagles. Yeah, spot price. Oh, twenty four K, is this a good price for a uh, one guinea? No. Show me. I'll share my screen. I don't know, Gu guineas ain't worth much. Should be six. Oh yeah, that's a very good time. <laughs> Thing is, that could be a, a the problem with this is it could Holy be a restrike. Shit. If it's not a restrike, yes, that is a good price. This uh, says this is not a restrike. Yeah, they can say what they want, but <laughs> yeah, but I have um, to see the picture of it to be able. But yeah, that is a good price for it, definitely. Want me to give you the link so you can see it? Uh, yeah, please. You could probably get it cheaper if you buy it from uh, 24k. Yeah, but I don't have any. I don't have any for sale. I only have three of them, and I already one of them is uh, for uh, Delroy BPM. They're really hard to come by, so. But do you get them for cheaper than that? I'm like, I could wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it just depends on who sells them and when they're selling them from. But I get them from anywhere between, uh, yeah, between probably like for fifty to eighty dollars cheaper than that. I could probably get them around the four hundred mark. You should let him uh, make some money, though, because for sourcing it for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just go go to the right a little bit. Go to the right. Yeah. No, no, with us. Yeah. And then go to the left where the tree, with the other tree, the other part of the palm tree is, and flip the coin for me. Show me the back of it. question like if you have yeah, that, so looks, that looks good the thing is also you just need if you looked at the, when I was showing you mine uh, the beauty of the guinea is also its redness it's kind of like it looks like red gold yeah that's yeah. racist what that's racist, racist man. <laughs> what do you mean it's racist <laughs> you're, luck, you're lucky silver siren said we got to keep this R rated <laughs> Well, the uh, uh, silver siren. I don't see any butterflies outside. I, all I see is uh, uh, Mickey Mouse playing with a frog. Anyone interested? <laughs> frog? Oh yeah, I'm getting some. I'm getting my. Actually, my frogs are being delivered tomorrow. So I'm getting my frog with some pandas tomorrow. 
My first graded panda, so. Yeah, I'm hoping I get a green frog with six dots. Hello. Crikey. It's Selva yeah, Rick. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Come on to you live out in the bush. It's Silver Rick. Hey, yo, uh, what's the bush? Hey, Mark. I'm going to walk about this, what? Rick. What? Check out my camera. I'll show you some of the proof coins, the Saudi silvers. Oh, okay. Here's one. It's hard to make out, but yeah. All right, those, hold on. The, so they're getting like eighty bucks for those things. Wow. Is yeah, it this is about eight, this is eighty dollars. Holy shit! Dollars but the mintage of them are always lower than two thousand on them. So. Is it nine 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 or is it sterling? No, no, it's nine nine nine. So I mean, pure one. This is the only one that's nine nine nine. The rest are sterling. That's pretty cool. Well, though. You asked if it was ninety nine sterling. I was gonna ask what that was. <laughs> It's because of the light. Hold on. Let me turn off the light. Maybe that will help. For you guys. What do you guys think about um, diversifying into some silverware? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, nice. You can do that when you get married. You can give it as a gift to your wife and ask your in-laws <laughs> to buy it for you. <laughs> I'd say there wouldn't be a point unless you're buying a full set, like a, a single silverware knife that's worth anything, really. It needs a set, doesn't it? Yeah, like a set, like a set from a good company, right? Yeah. I'd diversify into some real money. I ain't got any. <laughs> I had a dream last Ouch. night that. Um, that I had a dream. Yeah, it was weird. I had like, a dream. I, went to the I had a dream. When hey, Mop, check this one out. Numismatics can get along. <laughs> Mob, you see this one? It's yeah, I just see Luther it. Numismatics. This is two ounces. What is it? What does what does it say on the coin? What does that mean? It says God is great. Oh yeah. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, basically. <laughs> there, but no explosion be after that. No. <laughs> what a dick. Hopefully joking. not. I was joking. Yeah. But actually, this is you know what you could use this for, Mob. That's why we sell them for twenty thousand. This is a get you out of a hostage situation for free card. Really? Oh yeah. You show them this, and I'll let you go. <laughs> uh, Saudi challenge coin. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, look at look at look at what I got you're, for you're, you're, making me, you're making me think of that fucking movie, Team America, World Police. Look at this, you Amer you American lovers. Oh, you infidels! Look, a 19, <laughs> I've got a nineteen ninety a nineteen ninety five proof eagle. Nice. I got a 93 proof eagle. Apparently, apparently this is a common date. Is it? You tell me. It's a 95. 24K. You ever seen that movie? It's got Freaking... the P mark on it, right? What? It's got the P mint mark. Yeah, it doesn't have the W. FT is an expert on proof, proof eagles. <laughs> if it had the W, I'd, I'd I be thought, selling for 2500 I thought, I thought eagles were, eagle proofs were minted in Philadelphia up to 20, 2001. I thought West Point didn't start until after 2000 or 2001. Come indeed. I love my Libertads. It's a two ounce. I missed that. That's a two ounce. You have proof. a West Point Eagle? You have a West Point Eagle? Sorry? Not, did Point. you say you have a. A West Point 90, 1995 Eagle? Proof Eagle? 1995. 1995. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It's a 1995. Oh, Philadelphia. Okay. That's because the West Point ones are worth a lot. Yeah, they're worth like 2000 Hey, hey uh, 24K. Hey. Did you know that the P stands for proof? That's what I was thinking. I thought it was yeah. stands for Perth. Yeah, it stands for Perth. That's my I thought it was the U.S. Mint at Perth. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Mob, De Mob Depot type. The P, the P stands for proof. No, yeah. no, that's what I thought. Because someone told me that, um, what do you call it? There's a proof version of the uh, the five ounce uh, America the Beautiful, right? Wait, Frank, Frank, I got a better one. And uh, then they told me that you, you know, see the P. P you see the P in here? What's that stand for? Birth. It stands for poison. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's why the kid didn't get a Mickey Mouse coin. Uh. He didn't have a childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No Mickey Mouse for me. Twenty four K. Did you ever see that movie, Team America: World Police? No. Oh my God, you gotta watch it. It's so, oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be incredibly offensive to him. <laughs> What's that? I think it would be incredibly offensive to him. Uh, oh, no. no it takes knows. a lot to offend me. It's like the dude... You never watched that, that cartoon <laughs> South Park? Yeah. It's the guys that did South Park. They made, It's like a... It, it, see, Richard, that's what you don't understand, is that movie actually is like making fun of Americans. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, who's got a silver fern? Everybody. I'm surprised you bothered to get a silver fern, man. They look shitty. Yeah, that looks shitty. Unique design. The silver fern oh. uh, that everyone utilizes. Nothing. I've never seen any silver that looks shitty. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, I mean, it, like, it, it doesn't look shiny or anything like that. It's, it Have you seen like the new baseball coins that they may came out with? That's ugly. <laughs> I'd rather have that fern right there. <laughs> uh, you see what I mean? Everybody lies about the detail on the fern not being as good as I uh, like, would have liked. Baseball's never done anything to me except hit me on the head. Oh, now, man. if they came out with a baseball bat coin, oh, that's too where's that from? That looks like an island. New Zealand. Oh, okay. Crikey. Dude, you're in New Zealand. You don't even have this coin. Oh, he does. No, I do. I have silver fans. I just I don't like them. I think they look boring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, how far do you live from the New Zealand Mint? Um, about eight hours. How how many hours? Eight hours drive. Eight hours. All right, can you get there quick? <laughs> I got eight hours. <laughs> Come on, dude. We want to. Apparently, they still have some Mickey Mouse coins. We need you to get. Why don't Silver, you just Siren. Them? Silver Siren. Silver Siren is pregnant, and we want to get her a gift. <laughs> <laughs> They got the four hundred dollar international. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go again. Oh, muted. Oh, but this time I figured it out. Come on now, fool me once. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting muted like a mob deep here. What's going on? No respect. <laughs> Ernie's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, they build Yo, everybody, can you please remove that coin? What? Oh, I know, man. Because I'm gonna uh, end up buying it before the night's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a thousand of them. What coin's that? I that click on everybody. Wolf screen. Now, that's a pretty fucking coin. Now, that's a fucking coin, mate. You call that a coin? Dude, it's three times the price of silver. I, I, I don't understand. Yeah, did you buy, Sorry, everybody, how much did you buy it for? Did you buy it for that similar price? Uh, I ended up getting... I got one off of a secondary seller on eBay for the mint price of like 1020 And then oh. I bought a second one from Silver Town. So I can flip one if they do go up. Bring the yeah, price. Down. That's smart. That's smart. 
I love the uh, <clears throat> the detail on the whiskers. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Look at that that's shit. That's just amazing. Are that's you just fucking amazing. kidding me? Dude, it looks amazing. Yeah. It's just silver, though, man. <laughs> yeah, common date. It's a common date. Just bullion. Yeah, I think the uh, <laughs> Bob D may say another. Yeah, the strike price is what 125 Canadian. That's even a beautiful backside too. I yeah. like how that green is done like that. Thinking of buying some Nazi silver. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's illegal. Anymore. You can't sell it anymore. Then you won't be able to sell it. Well, the Nazi silver. Yeah. All over the place. I always thought you'd get in trouble, like if if you're carrying them around their shit. No, not in the same. I just stick. I just stick away from them. What a beautiful coin! Yeah, that's incredible. That looks beautiful. Uh, more Mexican silver, CZT. Um, Crazy. No, I reckon my next purchase will be those ten ounce um, Perth bars because they they seem to have the lowest premium here. How how do you buy them there through the New Zealand Mint or through the Perth directly or what? Because I can't go no. to Perth and order from them for some stupid reason. Only their proofs. Mm. And their registration yeah, for their bullion is impossible for us. I'm gonna just order them from. Um, it's like tracking websites, probably. But I'll, I'll check out the New Zealand Mint, see if they got it at a lower prem, premium first. Everything else is just way too expensive. Like the just the not not even proofs, but just standard um, standard uh, coins are they're through the roof at the moment for me. Yeah. People are trying to sell them for fifty dollars each for a um, silver eagle, American eagle. It's just out of hand. <laughs> what the hell did you say? Don't they have her they have herpes on them? Boobies. Oh. He <laughs> <Herpes. laughs> said herpes. I was like, what? It's a common date. <laughs> it's a it's a kilo common date. Just bullion. Oh, I got me some of these. Not Rushmore's. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them to my Americans on the Fourth of July. I'm gonna be outside the American Embassy on the Fourth of July selling these. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. <coughs> Traveling gypsy. <laughs> I'm joking. The funny thing is, I'll sell them to like Saudis that want to get in to have the beer. Be like, what? You're not gonna go in there without a gift, are you? <laughs> very, very gypsy of you. <laughs> nice. Hey Mob, here's a local here's a locally minted kilo. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> 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 I 
gay, gay, gay. What, what, what brand is it? It's Kaloti Dubai. Right. Nope. Can you can you show the whole shape? It's like a it's like elongated, right? Is it poured? Yeah, it's a hand poured. Nice. Oh yeah, I got coffee. So what do those go for over there? Uh, these go for about eight hundred dollars. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, I like those soap bars. <laughs> yeah. They get a good buck for those fucking things, though. I don't understand that. These are my favorites. Man, you're gonna have big stack of McGee green with envy. Those Geiger bars are cool. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of these. Can I have a few? Hey, hey, I got a question for you guys. What exactly did that salivate metal say in his last video? Did he say? He, he just said his friend his friend sold his silver and he's gonna score gold with it. Because if you listen carefully, it sounds like he's saying either that or um, what was it? Or that he sold his silver. I don't know. Yeah, this is. All Oh my God! Properly made. I. I'll get another case out. <coughs> couldn't hear all, We couldn't hear him with all the coins in his mouth. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so we thought we had <laughs> some real cool stuff. That's my Geiger and Sunshine Mint collection. Look at that shit. There Is you go. Heavy? Is it heavy plated? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think these are common dates. <laughs> what look? It says right there, common date. Have you tried uh, shining a black light on the back of them? A black light? No, I haven't. Why? There's a uh, there's some UV ink printed on the back. Is this of the Geiger thing? bars or the sunshines? The Geiger bars. Oh shit! It's really cool. That's why I want a Geiger. <laughs> this is the only reason. I just like that feature. Pretty neat. Dude, these sunshine bars—they pack them in pretty crappy plastic. They're they feel like they're almost gonna come out. It feels like the plastic is coming out. Look how loose they are inside. It's all to the one's mannequin. Well, they are in thermals. <laughs> oh, boy. Vintage of four hundred. It's common date. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking of when I sell these, I'll give away like a baseball coin to go with them. Put out too many issues. Hey, um, I was in a debate the other day on. 
online. Some dude was trying to tell me that 25 was middle age. How old what? is middle age? Dude, I always thought 25 was like over the over the hill. <laughs> <I'm> not right. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, if you look at it with today's age, you know, kids are getting pretty smart watching TV at a very young age, you know. They, they, get, they get to their teenage years by the time they're like seven. They're getting smart by watching TV? Oh, yeah, dude. I learned English, I learned English through watching YouTube. This is a case of babies having babies. Uh, if anything, they're getting dumbed uh, down by TV. They're losing brain cells by watching TV. Depends what you watch. Oh, oh, look at you. You turned out okay. No, I, I never, I, I barely watch TV, man. I, I, fuck, my parents cut, like, cut the cable off when I was in third grade. How night. much, how much have you learned from being on YouTube? Be honest. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I got real good at some video games. He's still it's talking to us. Game. What's that tell you? Still talking about what? You're still talking to us, so you couldn't learn much. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mike, did you get those Mickey Mouse coins? <laughs> Dude, everybody, the guy sends out a, a fucking message and everybody thinks he's giving him a heads up and he's actually making fun of them. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, exactly. Well, I wasn't making fun of anybody. I was like, oh, my God, here we go again. Another, yeah, uh... but we, as soon as we saw that, we started ordering. We thought you were telling us to order them. Oh, bullshit. Oh, so, <laughs> thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Me and Frank got 19 between us. I know. Frank Frank loaded up. No, I bought four. I didn't load up. <laughs> Fucking 24K, you went buck wild. Hey, I'm telling you, watch. I'll do videos of me selling them to the kids next door. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Kids next door have that kind of money? What the fuck? Hell, hell, yeah. You know? hell yeah. Even the kids do. What do you mean the parents do? Each one of these kids gets his own you know, monthly salary and monthly or weekly allowance that he can save up. You, you saw it, it'll give you like a milk I have, bottle. I uh, have no bottle. problem. I have no problem with selling it to my nieces and nephews on layaway. <laughs> I have got no issues with collecting the money every Friday at Grandpa's house. <laughs> Make like giant receipts, and when they're twenty-five, give them these fucking debt. Hell yeah! And if their parents <laughs> complain, I'll tell them I'm teaching them about real life. <laughs> this is how the world operates. Dude, I'll start charging him light fees. FT just won what? I didn't win shit. No, I just won. I saw uh -oh. an FT. I got this uh, this eBay auction. Twenty-three p uh, piece dollar uncirculated. Oh, how much you pay? Looks pretty clean. It's like twenty-eight dollars. Not too bad. Says it's uncirculated. That's not bad. Not bad. Dude, it looks shiny as hell. It looks beautiful. It's probably clean. Yeah, it's a common date. We know. Probably is common date. You need to like get a new word besides that. <laughs> <laughs> like write something down next to your computer so you can blabber that out too. Uh. <laughs> So do you guys want to go in on a group buy for those like 5,000 copper rounds? We can get them for like 89 cents. Yeah, and then I, I, tr I trust everybody in this room. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys send me the money and I'll buy it and then I'll ship it back out to you. The next G for T. <laughs> I know, I know a guy. I can get a great deal. But I got to pay him in cash. Well, can we get him from Don for, on credit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So where's Rocky? He's still at the flea market? Oh, I'm sure. He's like, oh, I spent too much money the last two months, and then he's going to the flea market again. Watch, he'll come back with a pile of crap. <laughs> I asked him, I said, can I send you, can I wire you money now, and then whenever you go to the flea market, if there's anything that you like, just pick it up for me, and he wouldn't do it. 
He's like, I don't like doing that. I might end up falling dead somewhere. I was like, I'll forgive you, dude. Falling dead somewhere. I'm only sending you 500 bucks. <laughs> but he gets some good deals all the time. Uh, Why, well, you you're interested in bars? Is that what you're interested in? I'm interested in anything that I can get at spot, and he's always talking about spot and a dollar over spot. I can get that at all day, man. <laughs> I'll try. Remember, I was uh, talking to you about that trade for uh, jewelry. Yeah. I'll give you bars, but I gotta like kind of set it up first. So I'll let you know right. when I'm ready. But I'll, yeah, I'll do. I'll do trades with you, man. All right. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I got a lot. Of, I got the nice lot. thing is he he lives in New Jersey, and my address is in New York, so it's like right across from us. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck <laughs> Mike. Mike's getting drunk already. Dude, he was he was crunk last night. Mike was getting crunk up in the chat room. <laughs> Dude, CCT, you've been quiet tonight. Well, no one else will yeah. shut up. <laughs> it could be because his mic's muted. Who muted him? Did 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 the uh, Silver Siren mute him? Is that what's going on here? No, wife was making dinner, which is rather noisy. Uh, I couldn't wait for my dinner, so I'm gonna have some dragon fruit. Well, she's slaughtering the cow in the, in the kitchen. Yeah. I thought that I thought the dragon fruit matched the tablecloth she chose for me. What's dragon fruit? Passion fruit. Oh. Rick, you driving down to New Zealand or what? <laughs> yeah, you still here? I know. You way by now? It wasn't me. That was someone else has got a car in the background. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the the Hispanic guy. Oh, you already forgot his name, dude. <laughs> Fucking fat stack or whatever. There you go. And he ain't Mexican. He's Guatemalan, I think. Yeah, man, I'm not being racist. That's like calling that's like calling a Korean Chinese or calling a Canadian an American. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Canadians are Chinese, right? Sure. <laughs> Mexicans. That's too cold in Canada to, to find Mexicans. Hey. I think it's hasty here, but I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I think it's called, yeah, we call it passion fruit too. Yeah. No, I've got passion fruit in the garden. This is different. Just let it slide, CCT. Let it slide. <laughs> it's not pomegranate, that's for sure. What are you going to say? It's a banana? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a nice watermelon there, CCT. <laughs> yeah. You sure know your cucumbers. <laughs> Like a spiky mango. It's a, it's a pitaya. <laughs> I, I have no idea what that is. I don't either. Yeah, but that's well, what we can get. Passion fruits are orange. <laughs> so, twenty four K. Does anybody celebrate Easter over there? Mm, probably, yeah, at the embassies and stuff. They hold parties. Yeah. But the wider public, no. I mean, we might eat rabbits, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know if there was any like, any Christians over there at all. Mm, only in the embassies and the expats that are here. Yeah, they probably do celebrate. Like if you go to like Saudi City, which is like the, air, the local airline because they have so many expat workers, they always hold like Easter's, uh, Christmases, Halloween's and stuff like that. 
Oh, okay. We don't even eat rabbits here. They're like a pest. You guys don't have rabbits, right? Yeah, well, they, they eat all the crops and all that, and since we're a farming country, it, uh, <laughs> it annoys the farmers. So they get poisoned. So, yeah, so there's no rabbits there. No, there's lots of them. That's the problem. Oh, there are? Do you yeah. guys have mouses? Mouses? <laughs> mouses? <laughs> you mean no, mice? Do you have any problems with mouses? <laughs> like Mickey Mouses? Yeah, hey, so yeah. You got Pharaoh Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. I think every country's got rats and mice now since the fucking British came along. And yeah, imported them from every country. But the Americans I, turned I, it into a I cute pet. There wouldn't be a problem with, <laughs> with, 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 with all the Pharaoh cats I remember, the crocodile hunter. So. Uh, the Americans <laughs> turned it into cute pets. <laughs> What? Your feral Mickey Mouse. That would be the next Zombuck. <laughs> like uh, Mickey Mouse Mad Max style. Yeah, zombified Mickey Mouse. Now that would be cool. I, I think you're going to see a difference in Disney over the next 20 years. It's going to just be shit. But I think this is... Yeah, they're going to turn from PG-13 to R. Mm. <clears throat> Mickey Mouse is going to be bumming Mickey on the fucking... Well, Mickey Mouse is going to join the X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! I got magnetic powers! Magnetic powers! Magic Frozen who can control the snow. She'll be in um, the X-Men Academy. <laughs> All I know is Mickey Mouse will whoop Batman any day. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No one's going to buy an X-Men silver coin. Go back to, like, the Fantastic Seven or something. Fantastic Seven? <laughs> I remember years ago, Warner Brothers wanted to make a, a cartoon where their, their Looney Tunes had superpowers. Like, um, instead of Bugs Bunny, it was Buzz Bunny, and he could run real fast, and the Tasmanian Devil was, like, the whole... I wish it was a joke, but it really wasn't. They were trying to make them all superheroes. Dude, that would be that would be another good coin is a Roadrunner. If we had a Roadrunner and a Wild Coyote, in all different scenes where he's getting like killed, <laughs> dude, that'd be funny as hell. Well, on the reverse of the coin would be the map would be the map that the coyote drew up, and then on the other side it would be him getting crushed. I'd be more happy with the um, Acme like dynamite, the the different Acme um, products like the, the dynamite and the TNT bars. Like, on the obverse would be uh, uh, an Acme box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd buy a silver anvil. <laughs> silver anvil. CCC, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think is a better play, the Mickey Mouse coin or the baseball coin? Uh, baseball. See, even CCT agrees with me. <laughs> I don't know why you're arguing, Silver Siren. Those baseball coins are going to be worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, Silver Siren. Four or five years, you're going to have a kid crying, I want the, silver, the Mickey Mouse coin. You're going to be calling up looking for it. <laughs> Just wait until you teach him about precious metals and then why he doesn't have the Mickey Mouse coin. Yeah. <laughs> it's more popular than baseball, I'll tell you that. Yeah, true. Dude, if we put up a Mickey Mouse with a Michael Jackson next to him, woo! <laughs> 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 Instead of the Queenie on the back, if they had Michael Jackson, woo, we would have sold that quick. Oh, God. Or a Hello Kitty. Could you imagine a Hello Kitty on one side and a Mickey on the other? Or how about Michael Jackson on one side and a little boy on the other side? And they what on the other side? Michael Jackson on the one side and a little boy on the other side. <laughs> That's, not probably funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. That's, that, that only happened in America. The rest of the world doesn't believe it. 
What happened in America stayed in America. <laughs> yeah, what happened in America stays in America. He didn't do that shit in Bahrain, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I believe this. I got a screen share. See? See? CCT is showing you his Donald. Right? That's exactly what I'm saying. The nostalgia is there. CCT, can you show us uh, some of your baseball memorabilia, please? <laughs> please? You know, just show us that Yankees. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Oh man, Siren's getting pissed. <laughs> you won't believe this, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is legit as well. It's from the actual PAMP website. What? Where Hello are you Kitty. Uh, oh, dude, Hello Kitty would make a great killing. I, oh, yeah, that, that would definitely make it. Dude, people would buy that. And I'd buy that. Where? Sold out. <laughs> You'd wear it, man. I don't know about wearing it, but I definitely know where I could sell that easily. <laughs> here, there's a lot Sold of out. older women that go around wearing Hello Kitty for some strange reason. I think they like go through menopause and like want to go back to Hello Kitty days. They made a Hello Kitty um vibrator somewhere. What? Because you have the most what franchise happened? character in the world, Hello Kitty. Yeah, Hello Kitty is one of the best franchises, and it's number one when it sells, and it sells to more adults than it does to kids. Yeah. Especially in Asia, I don't know what it is about that kitty that got these women going crazy. Well, I know about the vibrator, why that one does, but. I did actually have a Mickey mug somewhere, but I couldn't find that one. So you got Donald Duck instead. <laughs> see, but I think I think Silver Sign wanted to see some of your baseball memorabilia just to you know to make sure that she had a good deal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have any, huh? Silver Siren, at least send the guy a Detroit Tigers hat or something. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember where I put all my baseball stuff. Now, where did I leave it? <laughs> <laughs> Must be out with the kids again. Left it in Cooperstown. <laughs> Fuck me. Thank you, Silver Siren. I look forward to that. Man. I almost was that before? Was that before bankruptcy or after bankruptcy? <laughs> oh wait, didn't didn't Detroit go into bankruptcy because they paid their third baseman a billion dollars over ten years, and he's like thirty-eight? Uh, did I get muted again? And my ashtray caught on fire. Yeah, they paid their third baseman more than that, and then they didn't re-sign their best pitcher. What a job, man. You just have to stand on a square and catch a ball. Yep. Sovereign and a half sovereign. I haven't been able to see like a half. A half sovereign is three point five something grams of gold. Hey, a quarter it's... sovereign is one point eight. I have a quarter sovereign. Yeah, I, I have a quarter and a full. I've, I haven't gotten any halves. Hey, so it's Super Saiyan, Mr. Vegeta. Yeah, that's but, me. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Rich. Actually, the no, nice no. thing about a the nice thing about a quarter sovereign is that if you take you know if you put it in your hand. You can actually crack it in half, and you can have two quarter sovereign, and then you can have one eighth sovereign. An eighth. Yeah. How do you know if you've got like a, a full half or a quarter? By the weight and the size. 
a quarter sovereign is really small, a half sovereign is double its size, and a full sovereign is double yeah, its size. I've got a sovereign, but I've, I've never seen anything to compare it to. Uh, I can't tell the difference between a gram and half a gram. I'll show you. Just by the oh, there's not a gram and a half a gram. A quarter sovereign is 1.98 grams. There's no half a gram in anything. It's 1.8. It's almost yeah. 2 grams. What was yeah. that page that you guys had? And then a half sovereign is about 4 grams, and a full sovereign is 8 grams. Can you put up that page again? It may. He wants to see the Hello Kitty coin, I think. So the sovereigns. There you go. They all look the same size to me. Nope, they don't. Trust me, the quarter sovereign, when you hold it in your hand, you can literally bend it in half and crack it. What's the double sovereign? I have, I have like a full roll of full sovereigns. Dude, Rich, if you want a full sovereign set, I can get it to you for like a thousand. Not no, even I'll a thousand. The full sovereign set wouldn't cost, shouldn't cost you more than six hundred bucks maximum, dude. Well, the sovereign I've got. Three fifty for a full sovereign, and then you're looking at probably around two something for a half sovereign, and then as long as they're not proof, and then you're looking at about one eighty for a quarter sovereign. Oh, I'm sorry, you can get it for a hundred dollars a quarter sovereign. Are there any specific dates that should be uh, taken into consideration for the sovereigns? According to Mob Deep, uh, all the sovereigns are common dates. Right? <laughs> if you get all the uh, the ones that I like to stick to is, um, and this was just I, I learned it from from an older gentleman that collected sovereigns for a long time is if you get all the ones that are before 1918, 1919, because even though they might have high mintages of 20 million, a lot of them were melted down for World War One. Cool. And also, people like to collect the 1914 to 1918. They call those the World War One sovereigns. Especially the ones in Australia, right? And then if you get yeah, and then if you get also if you if you can find any of the Canadian from before 1920, those are always highly collectible because they're they they were the lowest mintages. No, and Canadian. the 19 and the 1918 Bombay one is no, also a good one to get. After, no Canadian sovereigns after 19. 11, no, 14 or some shit like that. Yeah, whatever. If you get those, the ones that were early, if you get the earlier ones, that's what I'm saying. If you get the earlier ones, that's all I was saying. I know what date like, they ended like on. 10, like 10 Canadian sovereigns total, or like 8 or something like that, 7 or something like that. Yeah, all those come at like 40 to 30,000 of uh, minted, um, they minted about 30,000 to 40,000 of them. So what's, a, what's an old Melbourne worth? I don't know. That's I, have the one I, have. I have a whole bunch of Melbourne yeah. ones. Yeah, because I got that's the one I that's mel uh, made into a cufflink that I was talking. I about. have a 1903 Melbourne and I have a 1914 Melbourne. I don't know, man. To my knowledge, they're common dates. Oh yeah, well, to, to your knowledge, everything is a common date, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kid got out of his diaper last night with a common date written on it. <laughs> yeah, just because you guys don't know what real numismatics are. Uh, some of the best numismatic collections for sovereigns are the Edwards, but not the Edwards, the early Edwards. It was the second Edward, the one that abdicated to George. Uh, those come in like the 1930 part. There's only two of them. He actually doesn't even have a crown on them. Uh, those are also nice to collect. Yeah, the, the, the second Edwin... Decent. You want to see the sovereigns? Uh, give me a second. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Oh, was that? Oh, that was me sneezing. Sorry. Oh, elephant in the room. I thought, yeah, I thought you were being attacked by a wild dog. <laughs> oh, you dropped the soap, man. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you're right, Silver Siren. Come on, someone's probably got the full set. Well, my LCS has probably got the full set. <laughs> you're on the fence with the Unicorn and Pegasus? Oh, come on, they're beautiful. <laughs> Horses. You have the whores? Whores? The whores. <laughs> How many that whores too. are there? That, that too. <laughs> we have three of them. Alright. Oops. Oops. I did it. So you want you want to see the Pegasus and the um the whores? I know, you know, I can I can get my hands on the unicorn and a, and a Pegasus for you. I got my whores locked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right. I'm gonna head out for like a little bit and I'll come back. Hey, Silver Siren, here's the sovereigns. That's a George Sovereign, uh, which the majority of mine are all Georges. Let me see if I can find something. Here's an Edward. And for some reason, this Edward is the only, the only Sovereign that faces the other way. All the other Sovereigns, the guy's facing the other way or the lady's facing the other way. But for some reason, this Edward decided to go. He wanted to face his own way. <laughs> That was his better side. Yeah, All I those guess. sovereigns are about quarter ounce. Yeah, they're about. Uh, they weigh uh, 7.98 grams, of which 7.323 is pure gold. This is my Victoria. Hmm. And then, Rich, you were asking about quarter sovereign and a full sovereign. Let me just try and find my quarter sovereign for you to show you that there is a big difference. Uh, da, 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 da. Did they make like quarters and halves and all that back in 1890? I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if they made the older ones, but my my quarter sovereign that I have is from 2009. It's an Elizabeth. And just so that you can see, like there's a huge difference between the size of them. Check this out. That's the quarter sovereign. You see it? Yes. Yeah. And then there's the full sovereign. You see the difference in the size? Oh yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's big. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, so my one would be a full sovereign. So that's my sovereign collection. A sovereign's used as currency anyway. Well, like they were they, used in, in the past days. They were used as currency. Yes, not now. That's not. Anything for you, silver siren. Just don't mute me. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Silver Siren. You wanted to see the unicorn.
<laughs> My Little Pony. <laughs> Yeah, I got the third design of the Sovereign, it seems, because I got the veiled head. Yeah, Victoria's got three different heads on her. Yeah, I and got that's something else. Head. And that's something else that you can go out and collect, the two, the, you know, the, all the different heads that she has and all the different stuff. When did silver become a precious metal? When the US. The same time as gold. Really? I would say when the US stopped minted, uh, minting uh, regular coins with it. 64, 65. Because a dollar was really worth a dollar, you know, the metal was minted on. Could you buy like a piano with a dollar? There was a lot of silver, I think, like around the World War II era. A lot of it was sunk during the wars. I just looked up on Google what you could buy with the dollar back in 1990. Uh, 1900, sorry. A house? Goodbye. Holly, put on the kettle. Have a what? <laughs> yeah, this website doesn't work. So the dollar was only about twenty three dollars now. Twenty three, twenty five dollars. that how like those really rich families who always have money do, does their money carry through um, the generations by stocking it in gold or something Yeah, come on, Half Dollar, you're not saying much. Oh, I'm just busy buying. I want a second 1923 piece dollar on eBay. Oh, you're just bidding, are you? Yeah, I, I won a, a 23p, and now I won a 23. I made a couple offers on a, uh, on a couple later year piece dollars as well, see if they go through. I was trying to bring it up with that. Showing like my personal stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Did the uh, silver market go down for Easter? Let's see. 
My eBay messages. No, I don't want that. I want uh, my eBay. I'll have more to say next weekend. CCT, the coin show is in town. So I'll definitely have stuff to, sh you know, some some uh, items to bring back. Yeah. Is it going to be a good one, do you think? Oh, it's the same one as six weeks ago. It was really good. If Silverhair was here, he'd tell you about it. Oh, did you, is, is, did you see him there? Yeah, we met face to face. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. You know, you know very nice guy. Like, tall guy. I'm, about, I'm like just a... Just a he lived in, uh, under six foot, and he was about a couple inches taller. How was he? I'm going to say, uh, let's see, 60-ish. Uh, Hence the silver hair, but then again, I'm, I'm only 42, and my hair is pretty gray as hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm only 26, and I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> And if you did, it would be grey. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. There's, there's the listing. I'm just trying to bring up the listing. That's the one. Oh, I had to scroll down, I think, to bring it up. You know, sometimes eBay just makes it a cluster to do the simplest things. Yeah. I'm just trying to find a good picture of the actual coin that I bought. It was on the listing, and as soon as I the list I won the listing, that was it. <laughs> Let's see if it's in the email. <laughs> yeah, you better send it to me, it's chocolate. Original listing. Oh, there we go. What a bunch of web acrobatics just to bring up the original item. <laughs> Share the screen. So, anyway, I just won this one for like $24. $23. Definitely does not look like it's been cleaned. Free shipping? No, I was like, uh, the, the total price came out to like 24 with the shipping. Oh, right. Oh, that's all right then. There's like some, some sort of stuff on there, but, you know, that kind of makes, uh, you know, makes it a little more legit that it hasn't been cold. But unless this guy's some sort of clever schemer and he did that on a cold coin, I don't know. As long as it's a real piece dollar, I mean, I probably bought it at just about spot. Not spot. I mean, at, at you know, at a standard cost, a piece dollar. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, everybody lies. That's ex that's sort of like my experience with uh, this. I was down in uh, Louisiana, and there was this Russian lady trying to sell me her uh, Morgan dollars. 
and she she sold up her merchandise, and then I offered to exchange stuff, some silver pandas and some silver eagles. And she referred to my end as nothing but silver bullion that her her coins were worth a lot more. Yeah. In the mid 30s, that they were not going to part with them for the mid 30s because that was the spot price when they bought them. I'm like, no, stop luck. I'm leaving. Yeah. yeah, it's real tough around here to get um, any of the new mathematics for a, <clears throat> a decent price. They sell, I mean, even Eagles, they sell um, at a minimum of five bucks over spot. Kind of, I mean, the, the Morgan dollars were not really that big of a deal until maybe these last couple of years. Now everyone slabs the damn thing and lost up the price. But I mean, they are good, you know. I mean, even the cold ones. I mean, that's a they're good enough to get at the cold, you know, the cold ones at a low twenty range price. These dollars in the movies. But I really would like to get a pristine, uh, uncirculated version of the coin myself. I actually do got an uncirculated Morgan from what it's over 30 years ago. Or I, I should say it was gifted to me from mom. Well, there was, um, I think it was mid to late 90s, uh, <clears throat> like. One of the mints found a huge stack of Morgans in uh, in their vault. Like the price dropped dramatically because you know they didn't they didn't think there was any new Morgans on the market, and then they ended up finding something like I don't know eighty eighty hundred thousand of them. I remember them selling them on TV late night in the nineties. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was reading the side conversation. They're all picking on Salivate Metal, not getting an Apex box. Hey guys, Salivate Metal here. <laughs> I'm surprised Apex hasn't just shipped him one after all the videos. Yeah. I think I got two Atmex boxes, but I mean, I made about five or six purchases from those guys, and I only got like two or three boxes out of the six purchases. <laughs> Man, look at that thing with all those eagles. Yeah, look at 24K with his Atmex boxes. <laughs> You're just doing that to wind up salivate, aren't you? Man, I thought salivate was going to go hit a, a, a gentleman's club with that friend of his with all that cash on the table. <laughs> like $40,000 in $100 bills. God. Yeah. If I was him, I'd, I'd, I'd take it to Las Vegas, put it all on one hand of blackjack. If I hit, I go buy gold. If I lose, shit happens. <laughs> I mean, keeping precious metals at home is one thing, but that much cash on hand? Uh, yeah. I guess it just depends on where you live. I mean, cash in a bank is fine. I mean, cash is FBIC protected. Yeah. The precious metals, on the other hand, I, I wouldn't trust them in a bank. I mean, bank closing tomorrow, they're going to find some BS reason to go into your damn box and itemize everything. Funnily enough, that cash he had on the table was the same amount I actually paid for my house. Fuck you want to sell? <laughs> I think they left the, before the property boom happened, I bought my first home for $74,000. And then the boom happened, it was selling for as much as one fifty five. I sold a parking spot in my uh, house in London for sixty thousand pounds. Oh my God! Yeah, no, I mean. So, I was shocked when my neighbor came up and asked me to to sell it to him. That's how. And, I, and then I and then I called my dad and I said, "Did you know that in London they sell parking spots?" Yeah, London so is. Apparently, we, we got we had two parking spots at the bottom of the building that were for our apartment, 
And uh, we were only ever using one, and it was just a house that we would go to, like on summer and stuff like that. And uh, I ended up selling it for sixty thousand pounds. I was shocked. Yeah, I thought the guy was taking the Mickey out of me. Yeah, Speaking of Mickey, parking space in New York City for one million dollars a few years back. Yeah, that's just crazy. I can't believe people buy parking spots. I even offered the guy. I was like, "You can park it there." And he's like, "No, I'd rather purchase it." Okay. <laughs> In my condo complex, we have an open parking lot, except, but we also have reserved spaces that you can buy. Like I should have jumped on it. Some guy was selling his for thirty-five hundred. Because whenever the weather gets inclement and uh, you know, like a hailstorm's coming, everyone on the uncovered lot runs into the covered lot, and then it's a, it's a, it's a, you know. It's a blitz to try to get a covered space. But yeah, parking's crazy. There's less and less free parking in my uh, part of uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Just building it up like crazy. I think that was a Disney cartoon as well, when Goofy was being Mr. Walker versus Mr. Wheeler. It was like the parking space was like a metaphor for a pot of gold, the open uh, parking space. <laughs> and quietness shrouds the room again. Oh, <laughs> I see Frank wasn't here. That's kind of the problem. <laughs> He's gone quiet. You need either Frank or Rocky in here. If you get both, it's a bonus. Did anybody get the... Speaking of Disney, did you guys get any of the Disney coins? We were having, we were having a discussion on that earlier. Oh, you did? Okay. Frank did. Gold is selling for about 1100 now. Jesus Christ. Eleven hundred. Yeah. What the hell? Exactly. Where's the spot on that? Is that like the lowest in years? Thousand mintage. Oh, I thought you were talking about the spot on on gold at eleven hundred. No, no, no. The um. <laughs> I thought you were going to say an ounce was eleven hundred. I was like, fucking buy. <laughs> yeah, if that was the case, we'd be buying. But uh, right now I only see one of them on sale on eBay. Oh no, actually no. I take it back. There's a couple more. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get into collectibles, I've, I've decided. I might get a few, like, different pieces of silver and gold just because to keep me interested, but I'm just going to invest in the metal, not in the collectability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll catch up, with, catch up with you all later, guys. I'm going to have my dinner. Okay. See you, dude. See you, see you later. Bye-bye. Today. I'm watching the coins everybody's showing us. Oh, I've got all my, I've got my webcam. What coin is that? Uh, this one's the eagle. Oh, there it is. It came out the Engelhard. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that, ordering a couple of those. They're pretty good priced right now at uh, Provident. Yeah, I pulled these out of the melt box for two bucks. Nice. And they're actually... I like them. Really uh, really good condition. Yeah. That looks pretty shiny. Is that like a proof or something? 
Uh, I think it's just a normal strike. I don't know. I know these guys are usually pretty shiny. I have the same one, but it's not that shiny. Oh, yeah? Someone's got a fake. Send on the CCT. <laughs> Uh, Silver Siren says some were matte and some were uh, proof-like finishes. How do you like that maple leaf coin right there, that, that tree? I think, you know, these are the only colored ones I bought, but I think they're pretty sharp. <clears throat> I, like I was looking at those. They look pretty cool. I mean, just the, the 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 view that it gives you of a tree is just really nice, as if you're like lying under it. Yeah, yeah, I like the perspective of them. Yeah, yeah, I might have to hop me on one of those. Yeah, there's three three total out there right now. Yeah. Two springs and one fall. So when are they? Does anyone know when they're releasing the next um, Greek God? Yeah, they're supposed to be doing it in May, but it didn't come up on their on their release date yet. So you're looking at maybe June now. Yeah. But dude, forget about the Zeus coins in the. There's there's gonna be nothing compared to Mickey. <laughs> the Mickey Mouse dressed as Zeus coin. Maybe they'll do a uh, Disney Hercules coin. Disney. Oh. Yeah. Well, they did a Disney stamp collection all, um, years ago. Dude, I hope they come out with like at least a Snow White or a Cinderella so we can get the girlies in here. Oh, the Seven Princesses, yeah. No, just Snow White or Cinderella would be fine. Oh. I think they are. There's a list of what they're coming out with. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, princess series would definitely sell, and it would make sense as well with like princesses being rich and shit. Hell yeah! But they they, they didn't come out with a, they should have come out with a Winnie the Pooh one, but they're not doing Winnie the Pooh. Well, haven't they lost the rights to Winnie the Pooh? The exclusive rights. I thought it was still Disney. Can't read here right now. Sorry, what was that? I'm getting ready to eat some swollen hot dogs right now. Uh, swollen hot dogs? Uh, they're breaded. Uh, they're in a bun or something like that. <clears throat> like a corn dog. Yeah, corn dog. Yeah. Or a um, wiener in a blanket. That's what they call them. What's that nerd candies out? Some hot dogs. Man, meal of champions. <laughs> Job stoppers and nerds. So I saw your latest video, Mr. V, showing the Garisopa on sale again. Was that the first edition or the one with the, uh, the, the number on it? That, that board with us. Oh 
shit. What about did your room go up the last night, FT? <clears throat> when did it start? No, it end. Oh. Um, it, only, it was only like three hours long, so like 9.30 or 10 Pacific. I miss any classy Rockies. Um, <clears throat> Rocky was there, but nothing, nothing too uh, controversial. No, I was, yeah, because I was in that. Yeah, I was in there for a while, and I don't know. I guess the week caught up, caught up with me. I went to bed. Yeah. Yo, everybody lies. That Fashion World wedding coin looks nice as what? a wedding gift and stuff. Which one? I thought Everybody last put up a link of a, a coin for a wedding. It was like a lady dressed in a wedding dress. I thought of Siren and her colored coins when I saw that on sale. Edward wants a picture of what? Hmm. And uh, you got rid of the riffraff, so NAPC can come and sweep. Hey, kids. Yo. Yo, NAPC, tell, come on, get into this argument with us. Silver Siren is stating that the baseball, co the Mickey Mouse is going to be worth more than the baseball coins. The Mickey Mouse is boring, man. <laughs> There's less of them, so it will be worth more. I mean, so I guess she's right. There's more of a Silver demand. Silver Siren, you're so smart. But there's going to be people that want to buy the baseball coin because it's from the U.S. Mint, or the other ones just from the Perth Mint. Yeah, seven hundred dollars for a quarter ounce coin is way too much, man. I mean, there's the hype. It's all hype right now, and then people are going to kind of fall out of favor with it after a while. She's talking about I'm the baseball thinking, gold coins, right? I'm just thinking. Imagine you put that gold or the silver Mickey in a you know in a pendant or something, and give it to a, a young girl as a as a gift, or to an older person, you know, wearing them. Just think of it as a jewelry more than a coin. I think that would be a better play. It's always going to have some value just because it's Disney. People lose their shit for Disney. Cause it's... Oh, CCT, CCT just put a video out. You ought to play it. Well, that's a very close up. That's a good camera you got, some, uh, NAPC. It's a microscope. It's the only camera I have. <laughs> like very deep. You know, I can see the details very closely. Looks like a what's that? A lion? It's a tiger. Or tiger. Like yeah, I should. I got it from that first coin company. The last. Uh, the last. Hangout we were on, Silver Siren put up a link or something, so I started looking and I was like, ooh, that's a cool coin. It just came, I actually forgot I bought it actually. It came in the mail, I was like, what the hell is this? So I opened the box, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, First Coin Company's got some amazing deals. I like the free shipping, that, that was nice. They did, I got a high relief uh, snakes for like 50 bucks. That's the sound of FT ideas and me grumbling. What's that? You didn't hear him. He said he got high. Somebody said he got high relief snakes for fifty dollars. Oh yeah.
So no, nobody's bought that uh, cylinder coin yet. No, that's a cool looking coin, but the three ounce. Uh, yep. Well, people have the six ounce, the original one that came out. That one's badass. I mean, it's the same thing. It's just smaller. Pretty neat box they put it in. So did anyone get the Mickey Mouse coin? It was sold out when I looked. I got 15. 15? Yeah. Holy shit. 15 of the gold? No, I wish I could get. I couldn't get any of the gold. I only got. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to source the gold from a local dealer. I only got uh, the silver ones. I want to keep five and flip the other ten. Keep five, flip five right away, and five when I try to get the set. Cool. It sold out. Uh, maybe yesterday or the day before. The gold sold out within less than half an hour, I think. But the yeah. silver one sold out. Yeah, like this morning or last night. I just checked and it said no more, so you can buy it on eBay for about 115 right now. Yeah. Silver so, Siren, you're trying to say that New Zealand Mint had the gold ones and you didn't tell us? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's not even funny. We've been sitting here for the last two days arguing about how we couldn't find them anywhere. Ah, uh, okay. I think those sold out pretty fast, too. Yeah. Dude, what's that? Zach, do you ever eat those candies, or you just... Put them in, in front of us to teach. I think my teeth are getting cavities just looking at those boxes. Hmm. Just went in for a cleaning two days ago. And then it's time to get them dirty. <laughs> no cavities, but the hygienist complained about gingivitis. Yeah, they always got something to complain about. That, I mean, I don't watch The Simpsons really anymore, but it was an episode of The Simpsons, and they walked by, and a sign said something like, no matter how hard you try, it's just not good enough or something. Or no matter, you know, at the dentist's office. Yeah. Yeah, because they just, yeah. They're like, did you floss? It's like, uh, no, I brushed my teeth. I don't yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm kind of scared my mom is going to come this summer and make me go to a dentist. The last time I went to the dentist was when I was, when my mom took me. Oh, I, I took a hiatus for too many years, but I went back and, uh, yeah, knock on wood, I mean, I'm, I, I was lucky, I mean. I've got I've got like four old cavities that were done when like I was like 16, 15. I'm almost 40 now, and like the the back areas of both sides of my teeth, I can't put anything that's hot or cold there. I have to chew it in the front. But I'm not going to a dentist. I hate dentists. No, uh, you, you really. I, I, I it's not like I take pleasure going, but I mean they really do get the crud off the teeth that builds up. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at, at doing that. You know, I, I, I floss like twice a day, and I brush my teeth, and I've got this air floss system that helps, but I'm not going to a dentist. I'm just hoping that with age, they start to fall off. Well, you really, I mean, all I have to do is just look at my poor mom. She had all her teeth extracted at 55. Yeah. That, that's like, that, that was like just such overkill, but... I don't know. I just don't want to ever be in that kind of situation. Ugh. Yeah, I was hoping Del Rugby might be able to help me. He's got those crowns. Maybe I can glue one on or something. What the heck is that, NABC? It looks like little microbes. They're live copepods. Oh, cool. They look like little bugs. I was going to be like, are those little bugs? They are. They're like... Uh... 
bugs you. They're like this uh, water fleas. Sea monkeys? Kind of, but they're for sea. They're salt water. What are you gonna do with those? For a fish tank or something? Yeah, I just got my um, my nano reef tank up and uh, running again. So I just got back from the pet store. I got two blue re blue leg cr crabs, a uh, burrowing snail, and uh, two turbo snails, and a bottle of copepods. Interesting. I don't know if they're tasty, Silver Siren. I don't eat them. <laughs> they're just something that live in the rock and the sand in uh, in the ocean. And the more more crap you can cram into an aquarium that's normally in an ocean, the less work it will be to uh, keep the aquarium stable. Especially a nano tank, it, they're notoriously uh, unstable because it's such a small microhabitat. Hey, did you pick up any barbers that APC? How'd you know? Did I tell you? No, I was, no, I, I was asking if you did or not. Oh, the, uh, the, the Zombuck barbers, no, not yet. Uh, they're not available at... Um, at um, was it a silver gold bowl? Yeah, silver gold bowl. Yeah. I'm surprised that Provident doesn't offer that on their Canadian site. Fuck. Look at this listing. I have the '87 proof cameo. This bullshit grading company SGS, 145 bucks. PCGS, same coin, $1,000. That's crazy. <clears throat> Both That's those cra prices. Both those prices are crazy. Yeah, but you know this SGS company is just fucking doing it, you know, to undercut the two big companies. And they put these bullshit prices out here. I mean, you could probably cut that out, have it regraded. Who knows if it's a exactly. 70? It's probably exactly. not even a 70. I mean, yeah, that thousand, that's, well, it's high, but. Yeah, it's getting to the point where slabbing is just like some cheesy packaging gimmick. <clears throat> well, you just have to stick to the big two, and that's it. Anybody else, just fuck them. Well, I mean, even the big two. I mean, look what they did with the baseball points. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, people people are gonna buy it though. People people recognize it and they see it and, and they respect it. A little less so with the baseball coins now. Though. I mean, they're like right there on the line. Hey, give us the coins, we'll grade it right on spot. But that's what they do with everything that comes out new. They'll send they they send a monster box to PCGS and they open up the fucking monster box and start grading everything. Yeah, <clears throat> if I'm gonna buy something off eBay, I personally feel more comfortable buying the graded stuff just because you get a pretty good idea. It's reliable rather than just buying the raw coins. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to put this eagle set together. If it's the newer raw coins, I mean, I usually just you know do the Provident Metals or the Atmexes. So I mean, I'm comfortable doing that. But. Yeah, maybe some of the uh, stuff that's been out there for a while. The only grading points I have, I have a 2013 and 14 Panda. Oh, and then the coins I picked up at the coin show last month, the Pilgrim coin and the uh, uh, Texas commemorative half dollar. Those were graded. But yeah, I mean, those older coins, yeah. Ooh, I like that one right there. <clears throat> I 
I mean, the difference between the 69 and the 70 is, is like, it's $900. It's crazy. I do like this one right here, though. Those are nice. The pros. Billions are nice too, but the eagles are just like pieces of art. <clears throat> yeah, I need, I, I need ten more to complete the set. And more different years? Mm hmm. Are they the more expensive years? Well, I need the 87, I need. If you try to go for a, you know, the, the MS 70 or Proof 70 on an 87, that's. They, they were $1,000. Ouch. The 69 is $85. Yeah, let's say go with the 69. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few, you know, I have a few 70s, but they're like, um, let's see, I got a 2006 70 right here in front of me. That was probably only 100 bucks. So you say like maybe more the common years? Well, they're just newer, yeah. Later, Mr. B. Yeah, take care, guys. Good chatting with you guys. Likewise. Does the Royal Canadian Mint let you buy bullion, bullion straight from them, uh, Mr. Canadian? Not that I've found. I think there's a way to do it, kind of like the Perth Mint. There's a way to do it, but it requires a lot of paperwork and a lot of pain in the ass. So yeah, I just the, never bothered. I yeah. tried to do the paperwork for the Perth Mint, and then it got to a point where they're like, oh, no, your country isn't one of the five countries that we do this with. You know what? Me too, actually. Canada wasn't one of the countries that they would uh, do, and I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's only like Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Japan. It's like all the countries that are near them, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, the only guy I saw that, I, I think it was a numismatic thing video where he got the sheets of the uh, uncirculated falcons. You can actually get those from Silver Gold Bowl, actually. They're in the, uh, the Mylar sheets. Oh, I thought he got it from... He's, I think he said he had, like, a connection at the at the mint or something. I don't remember exactly. 
He may have, but soon after he got them, they showed up on uh, Silver Gold Bowl. So he either had a connection or someone just got them ahead of everyone else. <clears throat> Well, Siren's asking about the 25th Maples in the sheets. No, I didn't see those. No, I haven't either. And yeah, everybody lies. I'm sure if you signed over your life to them, it would work. <laughs> <laughs> I got the three teams. I got plenty of 25th Maple Leafs. I wish they would have done a proof version of that commemorative. Yeah. Like, uh, oh yeah, they. I was looking at uh, Gainesville Coins uh, yesterday, uh, Canadian, and uh, they had the uh, silver proof uh, polar bear coin on there. The gold or oh, silver? Yeah. Silver, but it was the silver proof. Yeah. I almost bought one, honestly, but it was like $135, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I don't even like the silver ones that much. I like the gold ones. <laughs> there, seemed to be more, um, there seemed to be more detail in the gold. Like, you could see the fur and everything. Yeah, it was like a really, uh, it was like Gainesville. Maybe it was Silvertown, let's think. Silvertown had some graded ones. Yeah, those were the ones, uh... Yeah, they had like an uh, uh, MS69 goal for 126, and then the uh, 70 goal for 164. Yeah. Really nice looking coin. They have a good deal right now on the uh, Year of the Horse proof. It's like 10 bucks off at 78 or 79. Right now, I'm basically waiting for the uh, the Arctic Fox quarter ounce gold. Boolean to come out. They have the proof out already, but not the Boolean offering. I like those little quarter ounces. <clears throat> oh, did anyone see the uh, Freedom Girl gold coin? Or gold round? No. no. Yeah, I did. No, I love that design, but I don't know. How much was it over spot? It's not a bad price. The two coins cheaper than it uh, at Silver Gold Bowl are a previously owned Gold Maple Leafs and a 2014 Gold Maple Leaf. So it's the third That's cheapest okay. offering. I like your banner at FT. I know all. Uh, what to say today? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's about seventy bucks over, seventy bucks over spot. Just under seventy. Sixty-eight dollars over spot. Is that a full ounce? Yeah. Three nines. <clears throat> you think that's a general statement, Siren? I think she might be right because I was looking at uh, there was like uh, silver gold bull everything was just under uh, fifteen hundred but now it's above fifteen hundred for most one ounce gold coins here and gold dropped I mean it only went up a couple bucks since it dropped so yeah I I really don't see too many good gold deals as far as like online shopping that's why. I'm going to hold off till I go to the coin show next weekend again because they gave me some pretty decent prices on gold at this coin show. It's the same one that was like from six, seven weeks ago, 
And if you saw that silver hair stacker video that Dolly Madison coin he bought, that's where he bought it. Yeah. So he, I mean, he got that coin at spot. It was a gold proof with the COA and everything. Yeah, you can never go wrong with gold at spot. Yeah. I mean, those I, probably, those I bought, probably are the best places to find that stuff. Like I found uh, little uh, little tiny antiques shows, you know, that they hold in like the court, courts of malls or whatever. They'll sell uh, sterling silver spoons and shit for dirt cheap, you know? Eight bucks, ten bucks. Then you go online, and they're like, "Fucking, they want forty dollars for a sterling silver spoon." <clears throat> yeah. Uh, who was it? Oh, yeah, Silver Haired Stacker. He's been going to like some flea markets or or like large yard sales of some sort over in the, the part of Texas he lives in, and. He was talking about how he got these silver chains, but two of them were 10 karat gold. So he was able to do a nice trade for, uh, oh goodness, what did he get? Remember FT? Yeah, he got a couple points last night. Were those eagles he bought? Or no, they were Morgans, I think, or Peace Dollars. So yeah, they're, they're Peace Dollars. So he bought these, these 10 karat gold uh, chains for our like the price of just sterling silver, and he traded those chains in along with, uh, I think, $10 for each coin. So he, he got a really good deal. I forget all the math, but he really made out well. And then he bought some antique watch or something. He was talking about how he spent like next to nothing for it, and he sold it on eBay for like a hundred something dollars. So he's still doing pretty good. Yep. That's how the majority of my stack started was selling crap on eBay and turning a profit on it. Anyone see missing the Happy Stacks video where he bought all those um, baseball stadiums? For two bucks a piece, I bet you could sell those on eBay for a couple bucks and make some money off that. I don't see that. I don't recall. See, when I'm talking about selling stuff on eBay, I'm talking about buying something for three dollars and selling it for seventy-five dollars. I'm not like buying something for twenty and selling it for twenty-two. In my opinion, is just a waste of time. For me, anyway, it's like I want to turn a big profit, at least a hundred to two hundred percent. Yeah. <clears throat> now you're making money. Now you're now you're you know going to be able to build your stack or whatever you want to do with it. But because that's what I do, you know, I've done it with video games for a long time. Buy them for three dollars, the right ones. Turn around, sell them for forty, fifty, seventy-five, hundred and hundred and fifty bucks. I've sold them for. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'm not, I, there's shit I've listed on eBay and on Amazon, and I sold them in three hours after I listed it. I'll buy it now. No auctions. Uh. What the fuck was I looking at? Oh, here we go.
<laughs> Vicky to 10,000? Yeah. It's Mickey, man. Think of all everyone who's got a tattoo of Mickey Mouse on them. Yeah. Think of all those little kids that love Mickey and all the older kids that grew up with Mickey. I was I never a fan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, and if you, I mean, even if you weren't a fan of Mickey, I'm sure you were a fan of one of the Disney characters, and they, at the end you're going to want all of them. Yeah, I was a, more of a fan of Disney, not just like any one character. Like, I've been to Disney World, I used to watch the wonderful world of Disney every night when I was a kid, or every Sunday night. But they have so many characters. I mean, they're never going to end with the characters. Yeah. yeah, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> For them, it is. Yeah. You're gonna keep. You're gonna have so many people that are gonna have one of each, and then hopefully some idiot would want to collect the whole thing. I commented on a Perth video, Perth Mint video the other day, and I even sent them an email. I've come up with a wicked idea for a series. How about a solar system series? You could start out with like a five ounce uh, proof sun and like a one ounce proof Mercury and Venus and a two ounce Earth and a two ounce Mars and like a three ounce Jupiter. And then you could, they could even sell a wicked box set that would have like all the circles and you know you put your coins in and it would be like a map of the, the solar system. Oh, that'd be neat. W w would, we allow Pluto, would, we, would we allow Pluto would we allow Pluto back in? Hell yeah, Pluto would be there but it'd be a quarter out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be a fractional. Yeah. Don't be don't be giving them any free ideas though. They got a hard on for all their animals. There's going to be a coin of every animal on the planet. That'd be a collection. <clears throat> it's going to be it's going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions. And all the variations. There was one coin series that they came out with, but for some dumb reason they stopped them. That were pretty cool, which were like city centers. So it had like Red Square and so forth and so on and Big Ben and There's the Freedom Girl Gold. I, I think that would replace like the spoons when people went on vacations. <clears throat> spoons. <clears throat> this is the best one they've ever made right here. I'll screen share. Yeah, none of us can see your page, Mike.
Oh, those red box spiders are nice. This is the best one they ever made. Yeah, uh, someone I know actually bought like with ten of them. Holy fuck! Serious? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they went way up in price too and stayed there. He's, oh, yeah. he's he's got the whole set. He's got like well, he had ten of each. I think he sold about five of each. Thing is, he won't sell the rest though. I I I don't know why. <clears throat> If it was me, I'd, fucking, I'd, I'd sell the last straight away. <laughs> Did any of you guys get the uh, Endangered and Extinct series? You know, the one with the uh, Mosses, the uh, Tasmanian Tiger and all that. Which mint made those? Uh, that was the Perth Mint. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't even think I've seen it. Caracas. Oh, well, um, the, the the first car in the series went up like five or six times in price. I don't know about the rest. I haven't really checked. God. I was looking at the spider one when it was like five, six hundred bucks. Now it's, they're fifteen hundred, you know, this guy took a best offer of under eighteen fifty, but he probably took an offer of, you know, sixteen or seventeen hundred. I, I can't imagine it being much lower than that. But freaking crazy. Can't complain though, because I mean, I think those were like what sixty dollars when they first came out. <clears throat> Something stupidly low like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just the design. To me, it's the design. It's the way it looks. I love the way it looks. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. The uh, the great white shark one is pretty nice as well. There was a octopus as well. They've uh, they've rebooted this series, haven't they? I think they have, well second series, yeah. Because they have yeah, another, to try and cash in. They have the other spider, which is this one, which is not nearly as good looking. Let's see if they have a bigger picture now. I gotta get out of complete the listings. This guy wants two grand for that one. And then this I don't know if they call it series two or what, but this one's only hundred and eighty bucks. No, I, I think they just extended the series after this, so like the premiums going on the existing ones. I'm guessing they the cash in on it. So they started making more of the same one? No, just like adding more creatures to the list to, to you know get the uh, collectors in, but then charging like three times more than they originally charged uh -huh. charged for the uh, the first kind of range. Yeah, that's a, those are different spiders that you're showing. That was a funnel. Yeah, well, they have the it's a yeah. deadly, deadly and dangerous series. Yeah. And the first that expensive one was from 2006, and then the the next one was the 2012. Yeah. So I don't know if they'd call that a second series. You no, know, like they have Lunar Series One and Lunar Series Two. Mm. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing. What was the mintage on those? Five thousand, seven thousand. Of the O six, usually. Yeah, the, yeah. the O six. I think it's five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. Five thousand. I think the only time they ever go more than five thousand is if it's for like some kind of like you know memorial event, you know, like the uh, like the royal wedding and shit like that. Yeah. For something important that they know that will be, you know. That a lot more people would be attracted to, like the Mickey Mouse. Yeah, well, yeah, they try and skill it to the market, don't they? <laughs> Damn, Mickey Mouse coin. Oh, we're not going to talk about yeah, Mickey well, Mouse. What, what's, this, what's about this Mickey Mouse thing, though? <laughs> Mickey Mouse to 10,000 before the night's over. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I bought mine already, so yeah. You only got one? Yeah. Um Yeah. 
thing is, though, with with these coins, with the premiums going up so quick, do you not think it's going to be like a, a short-lived fad? Do you not think once enough people have got them and trying to sell them for a profit, the the premiums will just drop? Yeah. Because I mean, eBay will just come flooded. It, I imagine. <clears throat> You're just playing on the nostalgia. Wasn't I mean, there look, there's fifty thousand. There's fifty thousand baseball coins. There's ten thousand Mickey Mouse coins. There's much more people that are interested in Mickey Mouse than baseball. Yeah, baseball's boring. That's. I mean, that's what Silver Siren was telling us. Yeah, I guess. I guess with the Mickey's, at least you got like a you got a worldwide audience, don't you? Whereas baseball is only going to be North America. I mean, Silver Siren's been arguing that the whole night that Mickey's just going to outdo the baseball card because there's just so many more people. <clears throat> then they have this 2011 Tuvalu, which looks like the other one, and I don't know if they're trying to trick people into it. Cause it that looks, looks, is, that, is that Russian on the top? I think it is the Russian one. Yeah, it looks a lot like the other one. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> We get in the it's got chocolate inside or something. <laughs> Fake as fuck. Well, no, it's a legit coin, but it's because it's it's a Tuvalu, but they just kind of. Why has it got Russian it. on? Or whatever it is. Russian edition. But they're just kind of playing off. I want to say it's still a Perth Mint. I, I'm not exactly sure, but... I wonder what the mintage was on that. <clears throat> 2000. 2000. Seems odd. I'm giving serious thought of dumping some of my old Perth coins. You know, like the uh, the 2008s, 2009s. I got shitloads of those uh, Kookaburras and Luna 2 coins. But I saw the uh, the 2008 Kookaburra is going for like $90 per ounce. I was thinking, sell all of them, maybe keep one, uh, and buy this year's Kookaburra and pocket the, the cash. So, I mean, that's like, so it's almost four times spot. If it's a uh, if it's a slab one for the 2008 Kookaburras, you'll get like uh, 500 bucks for it on eBay. You could try to slab it, send it in. Really? Yes. Look it up on eBay. It's like 500 bucks. <clears throat> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's 500 for that. If it if it comes out to be 70, but yeah. I still think it's like. Uh, you know, like two two fifty for the sixty nine. Uh, it, the odds are in your favor. I mean, uh, if you have like three, you could, you should send him in all three and try to get him slapped. If it's if it's. Uh, I've, 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 I've got rolls of twenty still in the cellophane wrap. Rolls of twenty. Or here's a seventy that didn't even sell for three sixty nine. Yeah, uh, uh, t twenty coins per roll. I got quite a few. Oh, the two thousand eight. I've got 2008 and 2009. Nice. You're in business. Yeah, I paid 120 for this on eBay a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, 
that's a limited edition thing, isn't it? With the the, the card and description stuff on the back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. I mean, when I first got into silver, I was just uh, I was told to buy the Perth because it holds the uh, the premium in a downwards market. So I paid a bit extra over spot just for that kind of insurance. Yeah. I just went out and bought the rolls. Bought as, as much as I could to get the uh, the lowest cost possible. <coughs> yeah, you you can um just uh, raw coins you can get easily get seventy, seventy five bucks US for them on eBay. Yeah, that's so the way I was thinking about doing it. I was gonna sell the two thousand eight for like I'll probably try and get about a hundred dollars each at first. If no one pays that, then drop it to like eighty or ninety. I wasn't sure about two thousand nines. I I know they used to be the best, like premium wise. But I'm gonna go search that now. Actually, two thousand nine cookabars. Dude, you're asking way too high for the two thousand eight, according to eBay. They've got. Uh, I was going. Oh, I was going by uh, AppMax prices. I saw AppMax was um, selling them for like a hundred dollars. Just the the regular. Uh. There's a buy it now for fifty nine dollars. Looking at the 2009s, looks like I can get between like 45 and 55. Not bad, considering I paid. I think I think I paid like 17 dollars at the time. Was that a 2008 for 59 bucks? What was the shipping on that though? I bet it's from Australia, <laughs> and it's 30 bucks. Ah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, it says it's from Australia. It says shipping is nine ninety five. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, that's only about thirty dollars or something, isn't it? <laughs> something extortionate. It's AU sixty three fifty, US fifty nine thirty two. Wow, that's decent. I think those are the not best looking cooks. That's a nice cook. I, I I love the cooks now. When after I saw the real cook, like the bird, after you told me, I love the I love the cooks now. Really, it's a nice uh, birds. Oh yeah, yeah. The the laugh <laughs> that birds make me makes me laugh every time. One <laughs> from Greece. There's really not very many for sale on eBay right now. Yeah, I was looking at them for a few weeks, and <clears throat> the only way I could find one for sixty bucks <coughs> was to buy it in that uh, <coughs> the pack of two. This guy's got an 07, 08, 09, and 2010 for 215. Yeah, that's a little high. Yeah, I was wondering about selling like them in uh, sets because I've got like I've got every year apart from uh, I, I stopped buying in 20 early 2011. I've got every coin from like 2007 onwards up to that point. I was thinking maybe get you know just some cheap uh, wooden presentation cases or something, and uh, stick them in that and see if any collectors will throw in a bid. Yeah. I don't know if it's still up there, but there was a, a set on eBay, um, full set of kooks for. Uh, it was going for like five or six grand. Oh, 
That was probably the uh, the Privy Mark ones. They brought out like a, a set of 20 to celebrate the 20th anniversary. And it came in like a wooden presentation box and stuff with the certificate of authenticity and stuff. It was all like numbered. That's a lot of money for some birds. Anyone planning any uh, metal detecting or gold panning this year? I'm trying to get buy a metal detector, uh, bring it in from the States. I think there's be a lot of locations here that would be amazing for it. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about going out and doing some panning this year. I live in Colorado, so there's lots of places. Yeah. I picked up a cheap gold pan and some classifiers on eBay, and I had a gold pan already, so I'm going to try it out. I don't think there's any gold around here, but they found a big gold nugget in one of the mines, so might be something. If anything, it'll get me out of the house on the weekends. Yep, that's true. Yeah. I definitely think I'll be able to get some something out of the beaches. Uh, I can imagine, yeah, where you're at. There's probably lots of uh, rings and whatnot. Rings and chains. Rings and watches and stuff. Yeah. I know at least three people that lost their wedding rings on their wedding day on the beach they got married on. So. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I've, I've been watching videos and stuff, and no one's ever hit. I mean, I couldn't find a metal detector here. I looked everywhere. So I've, you know, I've, I've, I've got one of my brothers coming in in the summer bringing me one. But yeah, I think I'll hit, I'll hit well the beaches, and then also some of like the old pilgrimage spots where people, you know, used to, from back like 300 years ago, 200 years ago, where people used to, you know. Uh, come together before they would head in for their pilgrimage. There's some uh, guy over here in the UK. A few, I think it was about two years ago. He found uh, loads of Roman coins and stuff through metal detecting, and uh, the idiot went and told the government, <laughs> and they took it all off him. <laughs> it was worth millions. Yeah, I think they have to tell the government, but still, man, you'd pocket something, wouldn't you, before you told them? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'd tell them I wouldn't tell them anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I might drop them a note after I left. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would be pictures in case you want to put them. Right away. Here are some pictures in case you want to put them in your museum. There's one yeah. big board there someone found, and uh, he he reported it, told the government or whatever, and they sent uh, well, there were. Uh, they had the archaeologists excavating it, and they sent the police there and put up police tape and everything and started telling people it was like a murder scene so people wouldn't sneak on in the middle of the night and try to steal some of the stuff because it was like right mm -hmm. by two busy roads or something like that. thing is, wouldn't that attract loads of media? Yeah. I mean, I bet the cameras were there within like 20 minutes. <laughs> Dude! What's going on, slave charge? <laughs> I knew it was you the minute I heard that. Yeah, I, mean, I knew it was you the minute I heard the click of the flash. Yeah. <laughs> what are you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> What's He's up? Rolling. Well, I couldn't get back in because uh, Silverstone kicked me out. <laughs> that's because you were. That's because you kept arguing for those Mickey Mouse coins. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> gonna kick you out again. I know, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. You can't mess with those Mickey Mouse coins. Come on. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse, man. That's that's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You don't mess with the Mickey Mouse. Ahmed, you want a Mickey Mouse coin? Yeah. 500. Ship it. <laughs> you mean the gold ones, right? No, the silver. I mean the gold ones. Are you crazy? Come on, you're breaking my boss. 
For 500... Dude, the gold ones are like 3,000, 4,000 now. <laughs> I can't even get a gold one. Seriously. Yeah, you want me to, sh you want me to ship you Silver, a gold one? Silver Siren selling the Mickey Mouse coins for 500. Yeah? Really? <laughs> she got a roll of them. <laughs> no, she doesn't like them either. What? She she told she didn't she say that she didn't like the Mickey Mouse coins. She doesn't speak. She's silent, Bob. I don't know. I like them, but not for ninety She's bucks. <laughs> Same with me. I would not pay hundred bucks for that. Yeah, yeah. If if I was sure, I could wait, pay wait. for for two hundred. I would buy it, but. Wait, wait, I'm not wait. sure because Holland is such a, a difficult country you got to a kid? sell those shit. You have a kid? No, I don't. All right, just wait. <laughs> yeah, but you know, today I was with my nephews and they didn't even know uh, like this. This who Mickey Mouse you know, is? They no, they don't. They don't know. They don't know who Mickey Mouse is. No, yeah, they 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 probably know who Pikachu is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or Pokemon or. Uh, or the, the like SpongeBob, <laughs> but SpongeBob those were expensive. Sell too. really well. Yeah, it was like thousand bucks now for four ounces of silver on eBay. I would buy a SpongeBob coin. Yeah, it 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 was a it was a non-certified release, so they had to take it back. But there are still a few they were sold, and so they can't take those back. But Probably, and they are going for re for like for killing. It's like a thousand bucks for four ounces. It's a lot. But anything that gets cancelled or gets banned goes for a crazy premium. Yeah. I mean, those um, what was that guy who started his own silver currency in the U.S.? Uh, his coins are going for quite a lot. Who? There's some guy. He, he created his own uh, currency. He said yeah. he was going to refuse to deal in U.S. dollars anymore. So he started his own uh, silver-based currency, and the the feds locked him up. But Whoa, uh, yeah. they, they shut down his mint, and they, they seized all the coins he had on the on the premises. But people who'd already bought them, uh, I mean, yeah, people paid stupid amounts on on eBay. I can't remember what it was. Um, Is it the Norfeds? Yeah, that might be. It. Uh, yeah, it's part of. Her from stack. <laughs> I saw this picture. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the Lib Liberty Dollar, yeah. Wow. Want to trade for a Mickey Mouse? No deal. <laughs> Wait, you're still here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're under a secret name. Yeah. I, I'll give you a pre-release euro. It's a 20 euro pre-release. Like in 1997, you didn't have any euros, so these were pre-release. Fuck euros. And oh no, I couldn't get those. Euros ones. is better than dollars, man. No, they're not. Who wanna bet ya? Yeah. The all right. It was all sold out. I couldn't get them. <laughs> I'll give you a thousand Zimbabwean dollars. Our fucking euro is supported by Germany. Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> but like, I can buy more silver for uh, for a hundred euros than you can buy for a hundred dollars. Dude, I'd definitely rather have euros. I'd rather live in the United States. Thing is, the euro is set to go down price uh, at the moment because they say it's too strong against the dollar. Uh, Merkel's Probably. getting worried. Yeah, you know, it's if it's if 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 there's gonna be uh, one of the both, uh, one of the two is gonna weaken, then it should be the euro because America can't have that. Like, oh yeah, um, well, the euro's tied to a bunch of bullshit countries. That's the problem. It is. Yeah. Basically, 
<laughs> how many times are you going to keep bailing out Greece? I mean, how 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 long is that going to happen? Yeah, that's like one of the most stupid things the you the Europeans have did until now in history, maybe. Why don't they just get rid of the euro and go back to the old, old currency? It's because old currency doesn't give the same. Yeah, if that control. happens. Because what? It's because the, the, the old currencies didn't give the same type of centralized control. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you're all different countries. It'd be like the United States having the same dollar with Canada and Mexico and fucking Brazil and all this yeah, other but, bullshit. But, but here's that, the thing that was that, a rumor like a few years ago that they're going to do that, but... And that's never going to happen. Yeah, um, that, was, I don't know, that was a rumor. Right now, there's dollars in El Salvador, I think, and... Puerto Rico is part of the United States now, right? But um, Salvador is using pure dollars now. Puerto Rico has always been part of the United States. Yeah, but uh, Salvador has nothing to do with um, the states, and they're using dollars now. Well, yeah, if they want to use the dollar, that's fine, but we're not going to start gathering up a bunch of countries and create a new fucking currency. Well, a few years ago on the news, it said they're going to create a Mero. But I guess they didn't, that didn't go through. So I'm kidding. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. I know. The thing is, with the Amero, it it. What's the objective really? Why would you want Mexico at this point in time, and you know, rest of the southern uh, no. states Me really? Me Mexico's a disaster. Yeah, I mean the crime rate is fucking horrendous. I mean, <laughs> highest crime, <laughs> highest murder capital of the world is what it is. And it's is this? A, yeah, it's is a murder it? capital of the world, and it's the fattest country in the world. Fattest. What do you mean fattest? <laughs> that is not a shame. I thought, um, that fucks down there. The whole country is a mess. I, I thought uh, Johannesburg in Africa was the the better capital of the world. Yeah, or Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Or I'm... I think Rio used to be. Well, to, uh, like police officers uh, uh, stopped working for two days because they wanted to protest. How do you call that? Like, like, uh, like a strike. They had a strike, and uh, in the same day, forty people got killed <laughs> for for a day or two. Like, they had a water on a strike because they wanted more to earn more and su and stuff. You know, this strike, and then forty people got killed in one day. And it's that's, the city. And it's the city. A, that's a good way to get a pay rise, right there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the facts uh, don't lie. One strike and nothing happened. You know. It'd be yeah. on strike still. To be fair, though, the police in those areas of the country deserve a high level of pay. <laughs> well, definitely. I mean, it's it, it, it's it's like war every day, isn't it? It is. Well, if they don't get paid more, they just have to be on the take with the uh, criminals. Yeah, they do. They do that. It's one of the most corrupt uh, co uh, co uh, police officers too in the world. Police are corrupt everywhere, man. Yeah. It's just some parts of the world are worse than others. Yeah. No, trust me, I'm not part of the news unit cartel. <laughs> the news unit cartel. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> I know what he's all about. Uh, yeah, news unit likes to play, though. He just likes to set it up. Set it up. Yeah, he likes to play dumb. Play dumb and set it up. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier today, I was like, he's like, oh, I don't have any medals. And I was like, yeah, you do. And he's like, ha, <laughs> He started laughing. <laughs> I watched uh, the News Unit's video where he was talking about, um, you know, silver potentially going under $10. And uh, while it could happen, I, I had to laugh a bit because, like, He's playing into the typical uh, investor mindset there, where you basically sell at the low. <laughs> I mean, he, he's he's pointing out capitulation, and capitulation is, is is that's where you buy, if if you're in it long term anyway. Yeah. It all it just depends on what your objective is. What is your personal objective on buying silver? And that's how you would have to base it on. Do you want to make as much money as you can? Then you're a flipper. Are you a collector? Are you a hobbyist? Are you a numismatic type of person? Or you just want to buy shit and turn it as fast as possible? Or are you in it just for the Mickey coin? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Then you're turning it. you, you got to sell it. Uh, yeah, you can keep one or two. 
three maybe. Yeah, and five, then it's five, two. One. Yeah. Yeah. It's more yeah, about but... putting it in the bank. That's that's my view. You want to put it in the yeah. bank? No, it's more fun than just putting your money in the bank. Oh, exactly. Yeah. See, I like, like to buy what I like. What I like, you know, I, I buy like one or two of something that I like, and that's about it. Yeah. I like uh, going. Like I put up that year end video, and I can go back and look at what I had, and then uh, do the calculations with spot at whatever day I look, you know. And it's fun to see it go up and down or whatever. I think I'm up. Yeah, I'm. Ha I'm really having difficulties flipping this stuff. What? In Holland. Yeah, because you keep selling copper. <laughs> no, no, the copper is no problem. People are buying copper. That's the problem. They don't buy silver, but they buy copper. They're just oh. stupid. I can sell you some copper. Yeah, you have some for spots? Uh -huh. I can sell you some one-ounce, ten-foot-long copper uh, piping. One-ounce? One-ounce. <laughs> <laughs> I one think those were one-ounce. One-ounce one 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 going to be very big. <laughs> one-inch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you spot. I'll tell you some. No, I misspoke. One inch, ten foot long copper piping. That's some nice. Straight out of the ground. Proof seventy. Straight yeah. out of Home Depot. I get it. Yeah, you get it mint. Coming straight out of the underground. <laughs> yeah, but people are, are paying money for it because it's novelty. Such a pipe, you know, it's not a novelty. You can cut them. Out. Yeah, you Dude, can what you cut do is you, you cut them up. You cut them up real thin, and the, you turn them into like rings or something. <laughs> Copper. Right? Or melt them in the microwave. In the microwave. It has to say USA. <laughs> Made in USA. I'm not right. sure I'll stick any metal in the microwave, to be honest. <laughs> put them on, put them on a fire. Yeah, I've, I've seen videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have too. <laughs> Bang. You make yourself a little stamp, and you stamp them. Yeah, you can use a Dremel tool. Yes. Draw a smiley face on it. Number each it's one of them. Too much, it's too much work for just a few bucks. That's the problem. Hey man, man, every time we give you, every time we give you the, you know, you, 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 just, you just keep coming up with problems. You got to take some of yeah. the solutions and work with us. <laughs> no, those are not solutions. You can't call them solutions, dude. <laughs> That's just shit. <laughs> you're not <laughs> having shit. success selling. Look, you're not selling silver. You're not having success selling silver. You're not having success selling copper. Well, cool. yeah, success is another and, thing. And I you mean. live in Holland. Have you ever tried selling some weed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No. Yeah, that, 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 that's in the bull market right now. What about yeah. aluminum? Anybody want to buy aluminum? First, yeah. just, sell, just sell the copper and buy the silver. If it's aluminum uh, brass Can. knuckles, <laughs> aluminum knuckles, <laughs> that'll that'll sell. I'm gonna go to work and punch out some aluminum rounds, and I'll I'll sell them to you. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice specimen. You got yeah, there. it is nice. <laughs> I guess you could probably do that, and people would buy them. I told you you can sell those on eBay. The fucking pull tabs. You can. <laughs> Up, it's insane. People yeah. pay a lot of like money for that shit. Five ten, you got to get five ten pounds, but they buy. You can sell them. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you drink from a can, just keep pulling off the tabs. Well, man. even the beer cap, the beer caps, you can make even more because people like to collect uh, from the different breweries from around the country, around the world. And they'll buy those I'm gonna too. do that. Really, I, I'm gonna look for cans and I'm gonna strip these off. <laughs> 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 what are you laughing? Just start drinking a lot. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> no, I yeah, I can go to the scrapyard and uh, like uh, go to the uh, to my local uh, uh, scrap metal business and say like, let me scrap this these uh, tin tin stuff like for free. I mean, they won't mind. It's just it, it isn't even a gram's worth, right? The colorful pull tabs sell for more too. If you can get the colorful ones off the oh, energy drink. All right, here we. I got one right here. The cans of monster. Yeah, monster. That's where the money is, dude. Look at it. Look at that Look red. Look at it. You want the, <laughs> that's a Mint State 69 pull tab <laughs> uh, colorized version <laughs> that you can have slabbed. Yeah, send it to PCGS. From, the, uh, from North America. 
Wait, I see a scratch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, I found me some uh, Double Dragon from the Super Nintendo. I, <clears throat> Those oh, go for a killing, right? Yeah, it's kind of a common game. Probably ten bucks. That's a common date. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a common date. I have North and South for the Nintendo, the original NES. That was an awesome game, but I have no clue what it would go for. North and South? Yeah, it was like um, the Civil War. Between oh. New York, North and South, basically. It was kind of a role-playing game. You'd pick, like, how many cavalrymen and how many infantrymen and how many cannons and everything, and then you sent them at, at the other side, and they kind of clashed. It's, and, it's easy. You just you, pump it. I have my original Nintendo with a robot. Oh, man. oh the robot. I remember that. that yeah, it's like a $10 game. game. That was the first Nintendo that came out. Was it came out with a robot? Rob the robot. I never, knew, I never even knew how to play the game. No, it had yeah. like a little robot that it came with the game. Yeah, I know. Rob the robot. All right. Can you remember that um virtual reality headset they brought out, but it like it sent people into fits mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah, the game. Uh, it was like red and black. Virtual, virtual boy. Yeah, virtual boy. Uh, oh, that thing's stupid, man. People buy yeah. it. A virtual it, boy in good condition with everything complete can get you seventy five hundred bucks. Yeah, well, uh, that's the most uh, game though. <laughs> yeah. I only knew uh, one guy who had it, and his uh, his his mother tried to sue Nintendo because uh, sent him into an epileptic fit. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <clears throat> a North and South game is like it's like a twenty dollar game. That's me. Well, you need to get a stadium events. You can what about, that. like, original Zelda? 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 It, too good, too. Yeah, yeah the, the, the original Zeldas, if you've still got the box for them, uh, collectors will pay shitloads for them. Uh, just type it into eBay, and we'll find out what it's worth. I'll show you the game that I've sold multiple times. I don't think that game flipping would really be that profitable, because I mean, um, there's fucking millions of copies made. Yeah. Um, not for all of them. I suppose if you got like a limited edition and kept it in the box or something sealed, uh, maybe. Should I, hey guys, should I sell my N64 games or just keep them? Depends what you have. You just can't be that fucking generic. Like I got like Super Smash Brothers. I got like Conker's Bad Fur Day. I got like. Well, Conker's Bad Fur Day is a eighty dollar game. Does GoldenEye go for much? Because that was the, the one that really sold the system. GoldenEye is 15 to 20. Look at my screen! Look at oh, my I screen! I love those games. <laughs> See, nice. Conker's Bad Fur Day is a $78 game. $85. Are you playing that on the computer, Harrison? $71. Is it Mario? What is that? 64. I can't see. Yeah. 69. Yeah, it looks like Mario. It's Mario 3. Yeah, it's Mario 3. Is that on your computer? Yeah, it's Mario 3 with the boat. You know, you don't, you don't remember? Is no, it it's on, on my TV. I'm not playing. Somebody okay. else is playing. Look, it's the. Uh... Oh. No. Oh, nice <laughs> retro. Yeah. <laughs> Super Nintendo. All my friends are buying the uh, Xbox One at the moment, but I'm. I don't think I'm gonna buy it just because the Kinect creeps creeps me out. I don't like the idea of uh, a camera watching me all the time. You don't have to have it turned on, plugged in, though. Do you not? No. Just unplug it. Yeah, I don't hmm. know if I should sell my N64 games, because I like them. Yeah, you're still playing them. <laughs> oh, man, if I, if I had time, I'd play it. All right, look at this one. Yeah. Dude, it was my, like, it's fix your connection. 
Yeah. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, the game. Dude, brain farting all over, man. Who, me? Yeah, that was. It sounded like. It sounded like Rocky for a second. See what those prices. Five hundred bucks, seven hundred and fifty bucks. For what? Stadium Mickey events. Mouse. Wow, wow, stadium events. Hey, nah, How much I don't Mickey know. Mouse and Nintendo go for. <laughs> Look, this stadium events makes the 2008 Kookaburra look like, uh, I don't know. I can fly. Sure another one. Dude, are these at least proof games? You can get them graded. I'm not even joking. You can get games graded. <laughs> and they'll, put them in a, they'll put them in a hard case. What's the point of that? You can't even play it. <laughs> because people fucking buy it. That's the point of it. Yeah. I have Double Dragon. I saw it go for forty bucks, forty dollars. I can, I, I probably sell it. If you don't play it much anymore, then you may as well. Yeah. I only play Mario and stuff. I I don't even. I mean, it's. Just, All right. Look at this. Yeah. Nintendo World Championship gold cart, hundred thousand dollars sold. What? Ninety nine thousand dollars sold. What? Wow. Twenty nine thousand dollars sold. Did you guys no. see? Pong Star? buying these though. People are hyping it, man. People with pump. Dude, no, you have no, to no, understand the history of this game. There's that gold cart. There's like fifty of them in existence. Yeah, but still, who's gonna slap down a hundred grand for a, a game? Jesus. People that are rich. Yep. If you're talking about fifty items. This is from the 80s when they had the Nintendo World Championship. It was a it was a championship where people came and played game <clears throat> played a certain amount of games to to find out who was the best video game player, and the winner winners got this gold copy right here. The people that didn't win got this gray cartridge right here, which that one went for ninety nine thousand dollars. <laughs> it was a silver one. Oh, so those was actually played with real metal. Well, it's gold and the other one's silver. And then this one was, there's probably, I think there's a couple hundred of these. And that one went for 20000 9000 I mean, people every people know where every single copy of this of these are. They know who has them. Wow. Didn't they make a movie about that world championship? Well, it was, it was uh, that one with Fred Savage. I can't remember. The, he went to that, like at the end of that movie, he went to the, that, it, that movie was pretty much based on Nintendo, but I can't remember the name of the movie, but. But you're not gonna wow. find this shit out in the out in the wild. I mean, it's just it's super. Out in the wild. Yeah, that's what they call it. Out in the wild, garage yeah. sales, yeah. markets. Seventy-one bids to a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Well, why can I find it? Can you put the link down there? The so link. I can, I'm go gonna on. write a write. I'm gonna share this with a couple of friends. Just go to eBay yeah, and type in Nintendo World Championships. Nintendo World Championships. <clears throat> It's a programmable cart. You see the little um, up, upper left, this little square. Oh, it's fuck. crazy, man. Who would sell that for that? Who would auction it for that money? I mean, it doesn't sound like it's auctioned, right? It's, it says, yeah, it's yeah. an auction. Because that's what it's worth. It's been in demand for 30 years. This isn't anything new. Yeah, but... Yeah, it, it probably had a reserve price or something. I it's, mean, well, there was only one way to get it. It was at the Nintendo World Championships in like 19. I can't remember what year it was. 1988 or something like that. Um, that same guy sold both of them, I think. What game is it? Like, is, is there's like a... there's six games. I think there's like five or six games on it, and you can program it. In the upper left, you see where it's cut out in the upper left? Yeah. And you can, there's are switches, and you can program those switches. You're going to have to look it up. And so people played the same five games, and they were graded. You know, it was a timed event. And so whoever got the highest score on all of those, you know, was the winner. Wow. I can't find it, man. Can you please put the link? 
I can't find it if I'm searching. Uh, copy and paste. I wonder what those people are doing now. <clears throat> Probably developing the games. Or still playing. Or still playing, yeah. They're, they were all in the Nintendo magazines and... Crap. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> 100,000? <000? laughs> <laughs> I got one. one. I mean, that, one's I mean, that, one's, right that one's super rare. I mean, it's fucking... It's so rare. Now, I have a friend, though. He was world champion Tekken in three... three like, in when was that? In 2011 or 10 or something? I have, with, I have uh, a donkey... Well, I have a Donkey Kong, but a Hawaiian edition. Is that do I get extra for that? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Rocky, man. He knows all about it. It's even got Ron Paul written on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's sick. That's really sick. But who? who did, did you guys ever play Tekken? Sure, you did. Tekken, did you know yeah. Well, I I played the first three. Yeah, did did you know what character was world champion like for years? With what character did the guy played? It was like uh, Jack Five, the robot thing. Can yeah, you imagine that? Tough. And Street Fighter, Street Fighter was like Zangief. I used to get so pissed off with Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sonic. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll probably beat all of you with Tekken, probably. Dude, the best was Super Nintendo with hockey. <clears throat> Look at this. The manual for that game went for $400. <laughs> How much for a scanned copy? For what? Oh. A scanned <laughs> copy? Ten bucks. <laughs> That's easy money. Hey, who well, yeah. well, was... Uh, what favorite character? Blah 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 blah. Fix your mic. He can't fix <laughs> it. He needs to buy a new one. Yeah, uh, yeah. The mic, mic. Uh, odd. A pretty good game that sells well on the uh, Super Nintendo was that Earthbound game. If you got one, yeah. those still in the boxes. Oh. It goes for good money. Yeah, Earthbound. Which one? Couple hundred Earthbound. bucks. Earthbound. Is it better now? No. Yeah, it sounds a bit better. Yeah, it's better now. Anyways, I was saying, what was your favorite character in Street Fighter? Mine was Ryu. Yeah, mine was Ryu as well. Yeah. Which one's that guy? What's he look like? What? He's a guy with the white robes on, uh, the yep. brown shirt. Oh, like, yeah. And his guy. brother comes in a red robe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy. Yeah. He was, he was like the he was the one that everyone chose really. Yep. Ken? Some people preferred Ken, but uh, I didn't like him. No, I didn't like the like the close combat of Ken. He made really w weird moves in close. Like if if you were close to the opponent and then you would press like with Ryu, you press one button and he'd kill him, and uh, Ken mm -hmm. would like would like pet him. My favorite that was the that guy that touches me. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that stretches and teleports and shit. Ah, uh, that. Oh Dawson. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's my favorite. Or Blanca, the green, uh, the green. Yeah, uh, that the, that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was my favorite one. The thing I, I used to hate about Street Fighter though was um, if you went up against someone who like knew all the combos and stuff. You had to you had to pull off the combo like a nanosecond faster than them, otherwise your feet wouldn't even touch the floor. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I would just get kicked around in the air, and then it was game over. <laughs> yeah, there's a new future. Especially with, in, uh, that, especially with that Chinese guy that kept flipping over you. Then he just hit you up in the air, and then just start doing flips on you. Yeah, yeah the, the Viga. You mean Viga? Yeah, yeah. He just starts doing cartwheels on you, and you can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. I know. I've played a lot of uh, arcade too. But my favorite game was definitely the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, the Mickey Mouse game was good too on uh, Nintendo. Yeah, 
you know, clothing to a certain extent. Shoes. Other I used to like playing the uh, like good games back in the in the arcade days. Uh, I think it was called House of Dead or something. House of the Dead. It was my favorite. And uh, Time Crisis. Hmm. No. 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 Oh, they were pretty good. Dude, my favorite was Commando. Uh, I liked that game. Like on P on the PC, Commando behind enemy lines. <laughs> no, on Nintendo. Oh, I don't. What was that? How was that? I mean, I I knew. Uh, I know. Uh, what I like was uh, Transylvania. I don't know. You Commando. could only you could shoot up and down and diagonal. It was like one of the first games where you could shoot diagonally too. Ah, uh, that one. Yeah, I love that one too. You can do multiplayer. You could do multiplayer, right? Yeah, you could do multiplayer, exactly. Yeah, I love that game. I know what you... Uh, yeah, that was a very nice game. <laughs> Contra was pretty good as well. What was it? Contra. I think that was oh, it, yeah. Contra. Yeah, that was Contra, yeah. That was yeah, Contra. yeah that's, the, that's the one I was talking about. It's Contra, sorry. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good game. I like for the original PlayStation, the Army Men games... Oh yeah, Army Man 3D and stuff. Yeah, real war, plastic men. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh. PlayStation One. Yeah, the first PlayStation. I never Did played it. The best was when you started getting into the computer games, and those you'd spend like you'd get yourself like two game, two days of like playing Age of Empires and shit. Yeah, Age of Empires and Two. Civilization. <laughs> Or Sim City. That that was just crazy. How you'd spend like a day and a half on something like that. I hate that game, man. The Sims. Fuck. Sim, no, not Sims. Days no, I hate it. Like, fuck. I haven't I, even got to work yet. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. talking about. I was. I don't like Sims. I don't like the Sims. But Sim City was amazing. Just building the architecture of a of a city with the infrastructure and stuff was just crazy. Yeah, I, I've got a uh, Sim City for my PC right now, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've heard the new one's pretty shitty though, because you got to be online all the time or something. Isn't that for girls, man? The what? Isn't that game for girls? <laughs> SimCity Online, or whatever it is. Or SimCity, or whatever. No, SimCity was you built architects and stuff. Sim was. The... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, SimCity was like it's is really strategic. Dude, we used yeah, to play Mario Kart. We used yeah, to play we Mario. We used to, we used to gamble on Mario Karts. Who would get the fastest lap? We'd sit there and put bets on it. I used to like the battle mode. Mario Kart battle mode. Jesus. Look what I started. <laughs> But let's take it back one. Pac-Man. Fuck Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man's a fag. <laughs> Miss Pac-Man was pretty hot, though. <clears throat> Have you seen the King of Kong? <laughs> oh, yeah, because putting that little bow on her head make her, made her look hot. Very feminine. <laughs> it's like, that's not Pac-Man, that's Miss pac <laughs> Or Donkey Kong Jr. Have you seen the movie The King of Kong? I've heard about that. It's about the guy trying to set the... Is he trying to set the world highest score or something on Pac-Man? Yeah, it's pretty good. you got to watch it. Isn't the guy like... He's 50 or something, though. He's yeah, like, well, it's a, the, it, yeah, and then the other guy who had the old record was freaking out and calling him a liar and a bunch of bullshit. But, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's kind of an in-depth look into, like, arcade, the old-school arcade video gaming. I'd be more interested in what goes to those guys' heads, though. I mean, that age and still concerned about Pac-Man. <laughs> well, the guy bought a the guy bought the machine and put it in his garage, and he spent like fucking ten hours a day, like perfecting how he played it. And then he, re you know, recorded himself going for the the world record. And then the guy that had the world record thought it was bullshit. It was a bunch of dumb drama. But it makes for a good movie or a documentary. Mm. 
It has to be quite competitive on uh, Gears of War, the, uh, the first one on the Xbox. I managed to get in the top 1,000 on that, and uh, that used to get really heated. <sighs> Forza Motorsport as well. I used to play them a lot. I used to try and get uh, like the top 100 on the leaderboards. <clears throat> yeah, I like racing games. What I want, I want like a full racing game set up with the, you know, like where I step into a oh, cockpit yeah. with the with this wheel and the oh, pedals. And everything and like, the wheel, yeah. Like five or six screens surrounding me. Like it's almost like, you know, 360 screens. One of my uh, dad's friends uh, set one up for to play uh, Colin McRae. I don't think he had six screens or whatever. I think it was just one big TV screen, but he had the cockpit and then... Um, the wheel and everything. I know you can set it up for three screens on the X, the 360, but you have to have three 360s to do it. Because so if you look to your right, it shows the right of the track. You look to your left, you know, it shows the left. And yeah. You're looking forward. It's freaking crazy. There's a company that made a screen that was almost 360. It was it went 180, and it was just one screen. Nice. And they made it for, and they have it. I mean, they were selling it for about four thousand dollars, but it was made for gaming, for a PC. I saw um, Sony came out with those bendy TVs, but I think they're only one eighty degrees. Yeah. Like, yeah, they got those curved TVs coming out. Thing is, uh, I, d I don't really see much commercial appeal for them because I mean, who wants to put a, a t it, you know, bend a fucking TV screen around a corner? However. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose if you live in a in an igloo or something, something dome shaped, maybe stick it on the wall. But So apart from the uh, numismatic coins, is anyone buying the the dip in gold and silver? Yeah, I'm waiting for gold to hit twelve seventy five, and I should be making a purchase. Um, Seventy five. Do, do you think it's going to drop more? I hope okay. so. If you look, at the chart it seems to be forming a inverse head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. It could drop again, but I don't know. Thing is, what kind of quantity are you looking to get? Because I mean, the the current the current price difference between twelve seventy five and what we are right now, it's not it's not huge. Well, I pay. I only pay. I always pay one percent over spot maximum for gold. Yeah, I, I don't pay much because I I buy the. Um, I just buy bullion. I, yeah, I, I tend to buy, I the, buy uh, the sovereigns. Because here in the yeah. UK, the gold sovereigns are tax exempt. You don't have to report them when you sell them. Do you come across a lot of the foreign sovereigns? Um, I've I've bought a few Australian ones before, but uh, no, they're mostly like um, early twentieth century English. Yeah. I uh, got like the Edward Sevens and stuff like that, stuff from like nineteen oh seven, nineteen oh eight. Common dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every sovereign I have somehow seems to be a common date with this guy. That's why we call <laughs> him the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think rather than buy any bullion on this pullback, though, I think I'm going to buy some uh, 2016 calls on the uh, SLV and the GLD. I'm thinking the SLV may get the uh, $22 strike. Saudi Guinea. 
for three eighty five. That's a good price. Yeah, I passed you the link. It's on AppMix, but I don't know if AppMix sells restrikes. That's nine of them. No, no, that's not a. I can tell you right now, it's not a restrike. And they've got nine of them. The thing but is, when you buy stuff like this, up. is it easy to resell? Because most people wouldn't recognize that at all. Yeah, most people wouldn't recognize it, but it's still gold, right? Yep. Yeah, but I mean, unless you're selling straight to a, a dealer who knows his stuff, you might have some trouble. Yeah, true. Like, most people won't recognize it. They'll be like, what's this? Yeah. So, I mean, I only like to buy the, uh, the widely recognized stuff just for that. Because of that, really. Um, now, if the price went parabolic or whatever, and you wanted it done quick, you wouldn't want to and have to find people who know what this certain coin is or whatever. You just want to get rid of it. I kind of feel the same way about the South African two rand coin. Is yeah, it? I mean the the quick rand sell usually, but the yeah the other denominations are a bit meh. It feels real close to spot though too, and then the same uh, makeup as a sovereign. Yeah. If you want to get like the fractional um. Like foreign gold, the uh, the francs are quite good to sell. They sell really well. The French coins, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, they do. I think the Swiss ones as well. The roosters sell really well. So do the sovereigns. Yeah. The sovereigns are number one. The angels sell better. You can get but then you've also got the spot, though. you've also got the Helvita and the Austrian sells really well. I mean, the Austrian is also very well known, especially in Asia, more than the French. So the Ducats, Ducats are also very popular. Yeah. Did you sell your uh, Gilders, Harrison? On eBay? I think he's huh? playing some video games right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's, he's bashing Mario. <laughs> yeah, what's Silverstein talking about? <laughs> hmm. I think she's talking to you. To me? <laughs> I don't have any gold me. maples. Oh, yo, man. That's I have my mic game. out. My mic was out. No. <laughs> I was talking to myself. How about that? No. Yeah. I had these uh, coins. It had like almost 10 followers. And then nobody bid on it. Everybody like forget, forgot because the weather was nice that day and stuff. Oh, I, I should have bid on it. Yeah, that's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, you know that coin? You have bid on it like for three rain. bucks. Yeah. That was like, it, it, it went away for 350 yeah, that was sick. I mean, yeah, it was. It was like fifty. It was like a hundred percent. No, a fifty percent less than what I wanted for it. At, at, expected for it at least. Did you Did you just break even? No, I lost money on that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, I lost money on that. Oh, that's shitty. Yeah. So I'm I'm waiting. I'll see. I don't know if I'm uh, if I'm gonna. Uh, I, I I don't know. I think I'm gonna go for bullion from now on. Hmm. Or some rare coins like the Superman, the Batman, once in a while. Or oh, and and I'd like the the Zomba coins. Coin. <laughs> no, not the Mickey coins. Dude, <laughs> copper is going to 100 before the end of the year. Stick with copper. <laughs> <laughs> copper. <laughs> I, I wish I had a recently, I wish I had a, co a, a live kookaburra now who can imitate the laugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, you should, you should, you should mint some uh, copper kookaburra coins. But you know what about the Mickey Mouse ones? 
today I had this moment. I wanted to give. If I had two Mickey Mouse coins, I would have given them to my uh, nephews for sure. See. Because See? you know what? There was this. See? There was this moment where they, I asked them, like, "Do you know what what's gold? They're really small." And they said, "Yeah, if you have a lot, you can be rich." And I was like, "Yes, this is the time to to teach them about <laughs> like what's the true value of gold and silver." And then, exactly. yeah, and I wanted to give them something, you know, but I'll probably do that later. I'll, I'll fix them. So I, I'm gonna fix them something like like something attractive, you know, like maybe a Mickey Mouse. But I don't know. They don't know Mickey Mouse. That's the problem. <laughs> they don't know Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I mean, they probably do, but it's not like Mickey is not Mickey for them, you know. Mickey is it's Mickey for us, but not for them, maybe. Because they're yeah. very small. They don't know Mickey. Did you? What was the, the last time you saw some Mickey Mouse cartoons playing on, on television? Shit. Yeah, they have it. They have it. They have it. Still, uh, yeah. In the 90s? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Every huh? year they come out with a new Mickey. Really? Every year they come out with a new Mickey. Oh yeah. Yep. It's part of the Disney thing. They always, you know, keep one thing hot. So they always come out and refresh it. But you've got like Mini Mickey, you've got Junior Mickey, you've got Teen Mickey, you've got Adolescent Mickey, you got Puberty Mickey. Oh, oh by the way, 24K. Did you uh did you send already send the, uh, something over or did like No, I'm sending it tomorrow. Really? Can you, if you have that, uh, can you miss one 38 and a 32, like capsule, with a with a ring, with a black ring? What'd you say? Like this this capsule, you know, to put he coins wants a, in. He wants an airtight. Yeah, uh, an airtight. Uh, a 32 oh, and a 38 one, and I'll pay for it. It's no big deal. Don't yeah, you? no big deal either. But I don't have a 38. I'll look for the 32. I might have a 32, but I don't have 38. 38 is like for Morgan. Yeah, I know, because I don't have them, because I've got all my coins are 38s. 90% of coins are 38s. Then never mind. I'll, I'll get them. I'll have one extra, and that would average down my shipping. <laughs> I'm going to get them anyhow. I thought, like, if I could, if you could get me, like, one 32 and a 38, I wouldn't have to pay, uh, get them right now, because I don't need them, actually, right now. But yeah. Uh, never mind. It, 32, 32 I'll, pr I'll probably have one, but I just have to look. But a 38, I don't have. I know for a fact. Uh, I'm using some of the 39s for the 38s. Oh. Why do you do that? <laughs> because I, I ran out of 38s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something. Never mind. Uh, tonight's boxing night. Oh no, UFC night. Who's going to watch UFC tonight? Are you going to show uh, post a video again? No, probably not, man. Why not? I don't want to get in trouble. No, man, no. we'll do it private. If it's private, uh, I don't know. I'm fine, but. <laughs> I probably will <laughs> if it's private. <laughs> what's the price on those picks, uh, Siren? Which fighters are big in the UFC at the moment? Because like, I stopped watching it back when uh, Brock Lesnar was in it. Brock. Yeah. Brock. Yep. Nah, come on. You watched it because you were a fan of Brock from back in the WWE days? <laughs> no, no, actually, I, I, I wanted the same guy's head kicked in, but, um... <laughs> yeah. Which, which he did more than often, didn't he? <laughs> well, yeah, Silver, Silver Siren oh. was showing some uh, Maple Leafs there. I think for, like, 1400 or 1500 If anybody wants any, they can message her. What? What's, what's that? What's the year on that? Well, what do you have? She's got some 2014s, I think, some uh, maple leaf gold, and she's got ah. she's selling them for like two percent over spot. If anyone's interested, no deal. <laughs> two percent over nice. spot? That's a good deal. But shipping, shipping will cost me like another percent. It's, it's free shipping. She's she said it's free shipping. 
No deal. Oh. No deal. Wait. What? Wait, that's a good deal, man. They look like, pretty authentic. Yeah, just message her. <laughs> they're they're a special edition those. I'm gonna change my screen name to tungsten. Tungsten. <laughs> <laughs> nah, tungsten is tough stuff, man. Hey, tungsten is good. Really? Don't I, under I, don't underestimate tungsten. Gold. Dude, don't <laughs> underestimate tungsten. Really? What's tungsten used for? Really? It doesn't. It's doing better Take than gold. copper, I think. <laughs> Tungsten is used in incandescent light bulbs. It's also used to shield against radiation. Oh, there you go. It's used in a lot of high and expensive light bulbs. I'm going to get some tungsten. Oh, the Japanese, then. I'm going to put some tungsten on my roof. It's also used for fake gold. <coughs> I don't know. Get a bunch of tungsten, make a hat out of it. That should solve half your problems, my piece. <laughs> <laughs> tungsten foil hat? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air. <laughs> oh, no. Go back to your copper run. <laughs> uh, those are common day. At least, to say, to say at least. <laughs> I have one from. Look, look. This one. Who put up my mic? Oh, nobody. <laughs> 1929, you call that a... <laughs> That's a common date. <laughs> we can't see what it is. All we see is your head. <laughs> Look at it. Look at what? <laughs> <laughs> it's copper. I'm I'm telling you, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a survey on the streets with my camera, and I'm gonna ask random people if if they know what's worth more in Holland. What's worth more, copper or silver? <laughs> Uh, that's going to be fun. I want to yeah. see the, the reactions on their face. Can they at least be sober? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have one in the mail. I'm got, I'll do an unboxing video if it arrives. But it has been in the, in the customs like for a week. I, I'm, I have tracking on it. <laughs> Stop making those pictures, man. <laughs> I'm still laughing at the fucking coin, the one you're holding up the coin. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I got another one. Yeah. <laughs> 1933, St. Gardens. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Dude, I'm not like G for G. I'm not scamming people. Or <laughs> <laughs> what oh, happened? Oh, what what happened? <laughs> yeah, what's uh, what's some news on uh, the G14? Who gives a shit? Hopefully, he commits suicide. <laughs> we're, we're putting a fund together for his bail money. If you want to help out, send it to my account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm in charge of that account. I'm gonna link a PayPal to the to the side there, the message. <laughs> yeah, I I really want him to go to prison. <laughs> Just because it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see the video when he gets out. Well, when he's walking like uh, John Wayne. <laughs> I just love to see what he thinks about it, you know, his experience. 
someone should send him a, a soap on a rope. <laughs> Tell him he's gonna need it. I think some people already sent him a care package. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that video, but that was before we found out. It's 24k. Siren's got something for you. What? On your screen. It's Mickey. Well, what is it? Mickey Moose. Oh. I don't see anything. You even see the screen. Yeah, I don't see anything. All I see is a one ounce. <laughs> 1988, Silver Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Who wants Steamboat Willie? Why does it say 1988? Yeah, why can't I see your screen? Yeah, you have to link it, Siren. Stop hiding. <laughs> oh, I see it now, yeah. I see it. Perfectly fine. Well, I don't see it. How much is it? You click on her... Little small screen. The oh, there we go. Yeah, what, yeah there we go. Something? There you go. Yeah. I, it's too small. I can't see. Dude, that's an ugly steamboat. Stop trying to get us a fake Mickey Mouse coin. <laughs> she's trying to sell. She's trying to sell all these fake coins tonight. I don't know what's going on with you, Silver. <laughs> you know, we went from fake maple leaves to now trying to fake or selling us fake Mickey's. That coin looks hideous. Yep. And it's selling for thirty dollars more than the uh, regular Mickey Mouse coin. The real one. That just shows you they're selling the fake one for thirty dollars more than the real one. Is it People really fake? Get their right? hands on it. <laughs> yeah, it's the bias of the world. Dude, that's crazy. That Mickey Mouse coin is selling for 2500 I rest my case. You didn't even put a case together. You wouldn't even make a good public prosecutor. A Scrooge McDuck gold coin would be nice. Sure. I'd buy that. I used to love DuckTales. Yep. A trigger coin would be nice, too. A what? Trigger from Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah. Tigger. Yeah. I just like Winnie the Pooh. Or George of the Jungle. The thing is, if, if you go back and look at Winnie the Pooh now, you'll notice they all have some kind of like serious personality disorder. I don't <laughs> understand it. Like your? Yeah, like there's depression, there's anxiety, there's a... Uh, uh, I forgot what the other one was. ADD, hyperactive? Yeah, there's like none of them are just normal. <laughs> <laughs> Kanga was, I think, the mother kangaroo. Uh, I can only remember the main characters, really. I can't find the Mickey Mouse coin. It's They're sold out. No, I mean on eBay. Yeah, you can only buy them from Silver Siren. She's selling them for like 400 Oh, there it is. 55 bucks? Well, this... Is, isn't this the silver one? Oh. What's going on, Slave Torch? That's a fake one. Really? How do you know that? It says on it. Big L. Yeah. It says one troy ounce point nine 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 fine silver root COA limited edition. Never taken out of protective seal. Includes original case and box. Uh, that's the fake one. Made in China. 
It's big L series. No, item location, oh, Sun City, California. Cut ass now. <laughs> oh, looky, looky. Nope, Buy it doesn't now. Have, it doesn't have the Disney logo. That's a fake. <laughs> the Disney logo is not anywhere on the coin. That's a fake. It's probably silver, but it isn't the... Yeah, there's no Disney logo on it. It's a fake. I don't know what's up with Silver Siren or fake coins tonight. That looks like it's being made by the Canadian Mint. You know, it's just the, the, the font on the text on the bottom. Look at the Rarities. ears. Why is Mickey's ears so big? It says the Walt Disney Company, 1987. But what? it doesn't say that on a coin. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's a fake. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like the, put, the paint side of it. it. looks like it's been done in Microsoft Paint. Hmm. It's a new there you seller. Go. Those are the real ones right there. Big L series. Yeah, that's the real one right there. I hope they make a one kilo Mickey coin. They should do like um, uh, like a block of bullion, actually in the shape of the Mickey Mouse head, you know, with the ears and everything. That would sell well. Cool. You'd, have, you'd have like a, a kilo face and then a ten ounce ears. Yeah, I'll make them for you. Dude, I never liked Mickey Mouse. Really? Yeah, he never when liked was you either. <laughs> I hope you never liked Mickey Mouse. I he hope you never liked Mickey Mouse sound. when you were a kid. Me, me, me. I didn't have a childhood, man. I was more into Mickey Mouse. I don't myself. know Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse should know about me. That's what it is. I I, I never liked Disney to full stop, really. I was more of a Power Rangers type of kid. Yeah, me too. Power Rangers? Are you serious? Oh, no, yeah, no, no, not Power Rangers. No, I was like more like Batman, Spider-Man, and Iceman and stuff, Wonder Woman once in a while. The Pink Ranger was hot. <laughs> Dude, Wonder Woman was hot. Yeah, man. <laughs> you ever notice the Power Rangers were like totally racist? Like the Pink Ranger was a chick, the Black Ranger was a black guy, the Yellow yeah. Ranger was a yellow or was a <laughs> <It was> Chinese. <laughs> I thought they were just trying to tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> the funny yeah, thing about that show was, was cool. like the, the amount of collateral damage they did in every episode. How many people did they kill smashing down buildings and stuff fighting those monsters? <laughs> yeah, but those were empty buildings. You would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't I still can't believe the gold cassette was sought for a, a hundred thousand. You can buy a house for that. For that for that stupid cassette. Yeah, you can buy a bungalow. <laughs> Dude, wow. if you put, yeah, you'll, you can buy like a, a lot of ounces buy, of silver. If you buy five Mickey Mouse coins in, in about ten years' time, you'll be able to buy a bigger villa. Can we quote you? If you buy, how, how many Mickey Mouse coins were there? Like five thousand? Ten. Ten thousand. Could you buy ten thousand Mickey Mouse coins for a hundred thousand? No, you can't. Yes, no. you can. No. They, they Just wait. Should, they would have. <laughs> no man. It's, wait. They would like. Twenty four K is just. They should have been like ten bucks then. Twenty four. This is scammer. <laughs> so the prices just are wait. going down. I, I've set up a system that will calculate exactly what the price <laughs> is, and it will be triggered. <laughs> it will then trigger itself to be able to buy and sell at an exact time, and I'm looking at a seventy to eighty percent windfall rate here. Uh, I don't know. Yes. I can make you rich. <laughs> yeah. What he said. I don't know, Mickey Mouse. He's on the front page of the Perth, man. I can't make myself rich, but I can make you rich. 80% <laughs> guaranteed. Yes. Wow. You sound like wow. a nice guy. Can I call you, brother? <laughs> Let me let me put up some charts. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put up some charts and draw a bunch of lines, and then you're gonna know how smart I am. <laughs> Uber conference. Yeah. 
him at? He's at the flea market. He's at the... Never mind. I'm tipsy like a gypsy. <laughs> Why are those English bastards on eBay selling for like a like a hundred percent on top of the the highest price out there on eBay? They look for the highest price and they put a hundred percent on it, and then they sell, try to sell it. How stupid can you be? Mob has no gold. I don't even think he's got silver. Oh, I have nothing, man. I'm a broke gypsy. Show us. No, I can't. I don't have any. Show <laughs> us. Prove it. <laughs> he has copper. I sold him yeah, some. He I doesn't. He doesn't even have copper. That's the bad. He doesn't. It's not I, even copper. Dude. I only have copper. <laughs> All he's got is a fake Bentley. <laughs> it's not a fucking Bentley, man. What is it? It's a Chrysler. Chrysler what? 300. It looks like a fake Bentley to me. It looks like a fucking 70s car to me. Maybe when you're next to a Bentley. I have this. It's not copper. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a zombie. It's a what? Who watched the uh, Who watched the uh, season four of Walking Dead? I did. Ah, uh, that was awesome, wasn't it? But the ending was like crap. Like, oh man, I have to wait another year to to see that. That's what they do. Yeah, I know. But it was good. I watched it in within the two or three days. Like I I, uh, I I watched the entire thing. I didn't watch it week after week. That was good. That was some action. I only have plastic coins. Show us. One ounce plastic round. Show us. I can't. They're gone. I sold them all. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you my one ounce plastic coins. Hey, Big, what's your full name? What's your like your whole name? I only see Big. Big Al. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> what? Well, no, it's, it's more than that, but... <laughs> Just Big Al. That's the guy from Bruce Lee. <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, don't you know him? Yeah. He, played for, he played for the Lakers. Yeah. He was in Airplane. He started out with the Milwaukee Brewers. <laughs> yeah. Out, that guy's uh, heavy duty. Are you black? Just B-I-G-A-L? Yep. Oh, I don't see you. What are you looking for? You're not with the TMZ Media Group, are you? No. Yes, I am. Would you like an interview? <laughs> I'm trying to add you to my circle, but... Uh, 24K. It's a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, 24K. Else. 24K? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um...
Which, oh god, there's like 22 4Ks. Try this. Just 2 4K? Here, I'll put it up. 2 4K media, 2 4K gun, 2 4K productions, 2 4K spray. Okay. <laughs> Guys, didn't you get that what I said earlier? No, you didn't, right? Say it again. Say it again. I said Karim Abdul Jabbar can beat Bruce Lee in real life. No. Wanna bet you? <laughs> you can't bet on that no more, but I'm I'm sure of that. No. Dude, Bruce Lee. Mike Tyson couldn't fuck up Bruce Lee. Oh, are you sure? I'm yeah. prob I'm positive. <laughs> Anytime, exactly. with Stop a hard talking. on. <clears throat> <laughs> Anytime. Bruce Lee is king. Bruce Lee was the most overrated guy in the world. I'm Please. telling you. He's more overrated than Michael Jackson. <laughs> Like this guy, uh, dude. Michael Jackson didn't do moonwalk. I my, I have friends who do the moonwalk way better than Michael Jackson did. And I got friends that will beat you up like Bruce Lee. Oh yeah, let him try. Come Bruce, and get some. Bruce Lee was the original man. Mike Tyson was. I like Mike Tyson too, but I don't know. I like both of them. No dude, one could I watch Bruce, Bruce Lee's movies. movies. Dude, Bruce I watched Lee Bruce Lee's movies. They were all choreographed, man. Choreographed. You know what Mike Tyson did to people? He was like a zombie, man. He Mike, ate them. Um, yeah. Mike, Mike Tyson's only advantage was he was fucking nuts. Mike yeah. Tyson. <laughs> he went. He wouldn't be able. To, he wouldn't be able to touch him. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, I'm sure. No, I'm not. You're not. I'm dude, telling you, I saw the movies of Bruce Lee. Is he's this? Guy. I never liked him. And he's so overrated. You just never liked him because you were always, you know, you were intimidated by him. Not. Scared you. You had nightmares. Ever. I know how it feels. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Dude, Bruce Lee is. <laughs> is just... Bruce Lee was such an act, man. Come on, I, I bet I know what happened to you. Your older brothers used to beat beat, beat you up after watching Bruce Lee movies, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's all good. All it's all good. Movie. Come on. I'm Come not on, like no, you. Not. I'm it's not all like good. you, it's, man. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I have a lot of younger brothers. <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson was my favorite too. I like both. Dude, of them. dude, Bruce I, Lee. I used to love. I used to love Mike Tyson until he started trying to eat people. <laughs> <laughs> he turned like zombie. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Bruce Lee, uh, Mike Tyson would take would uh would hand would kill Bruce Lee anytime. If, if no. Oh, Chuck Norris will fucking kill them all. If if Mike Tyson was able to keep up with Bruce Lee, yeah, he'll knock him out with one punch. But Bruce no. Lee would not be. I mean, Mike Tyson would not be able to keep up with Bruce Lee. It dude, depends. Bruce Lee would kick the hell out of Mike. Not yeah, exactly. Dude, not. Bruce Lee would bit, would hit Mike Tyson so hard he he'd stop stuttering. Dude, oh, yeah. fuck them both. It's all about Chuck Norris. Uh, like Chuck, oh, dude, Bruce Lee would kill Chuck Norris. Not nah, Bruce Lee was so overrated, so choreographed, and so. I know what the hell are you looking at? I know they trained together. Chuck Norris he trained with Bruce Lee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and but with Korean, before, you, know, you look at the black one. <laughs> they were smoking weed the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Tacos. Smoking a lot of weed. Oh, man, I need to go get some. I haven't smoked in like a month. Like two days or two minutes or? A month. <laughs> a month, are you sure? Yeah, and before that, I haven't smoked in like a few years, man. Because whenever I smoke weed, I go slow, man. I just fucking go slow. <laughs> <laughs> time slows down. Yeah, time slows down, man. No, no. it's not the time, you idiot. It's you who slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, you sound like you smoke weed 24 hours a day. Uh, I, don't know. I used to. I used to. I used to. Uh, I used to be my business. <laughs> Great. 